I thank you for the spirit. I thank you for all your plans. I glorify you, Lord. You have perfect plans for your people. Even in July, you have perfect plans for July to do us good, not evil. Lord God in heaven, I pray that you bring down the spirit of revelation. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of joy. The spirit of harmony. In the name of Jesus. I resist evil spirits from hell. All territorial spirits. I declare to you. That you have no right over this territory. This territory belongs to Jesus. And these people belong to Jesus. So I arrest you. In the name of Jesus. I freeze all your forces. And I put you under my feet. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your will be done this evening. Speak to us, Lord. Your word is life. Lord, we need life. Answer all our questions. Father, the devil uses unanswered questions to lie to us. But I pray that you speak to each of us. In the name of Jesus, answer me, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, I dedicate the people who are still coming. I pray that you bring them safe to this place. I cover them in the blood of Jesus. And I treat upon all forces which we are resisting their faith. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Okay, okay. Praise the Lord. Um, I will come once again in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for not getting tired. Yes. Not getting tired is something very important. Many times I, I speak this scripture that the Bible says I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently shall find me. There is something that I've discovered. It's not that everyone who seeks the Lord finds him. But I've discovered the people who seek the Lord relentlessly. That is a price. Diligent seekers find God. And what we mean by finding God is seeing God at work in our lives. You pray till the hand of God begins to work in your life. Amen. Amen. So those diligent seekers, diligent givers, diligent prayers, pray, prayers. No, a is Diligent prayers. Those people see God. In humanity, people hate diligence. The one to hit the one to hit ten mangoes at once they eat and leave. These things of saying that I prayed and I didn't get any prayer again. People hate such things. That is why so many people they failed at that price of diligence. When they see that they pray today and they pray tomorrow and they see that it's nothing that has happened. They just take off. That is how God also can't work. He put the very precious things very far from us. There is nothing that is precious that is near us. Even gold is mined from afar. Amen. Amen. Gold mine is sinyango. The gold mines are something not easy. Praise the Lord. Now gold is very far from the ground. And every, every precious thing is never on the surface. Amen. 
subjects is single kutunda munsi you go and look at the most selling subjects in this world ngo muntu ayagala okusoma if someone wants to study ziba nzibu they are very difficult this is expensive they are expensive ato twalo budengo chalisoma and you take some good time while you're still studying there ne walwe byangungu but there are some things that are easy ebiyo biliko ne mirimu jabyo siminji nyo even the jo, the jobs for for such sub, for such courses are not so many norecho njagalo tegere therefore i would like you to understand subject enyangu that are easy subjects na zote zitira kubaka nkyo nyo mirimu usually have scarce jobs at is subject enzibu now the difficult subject at ziba ko nye mirimu ne sichangu mwantu a mwana alwao nga cha nsoma they easily you can easily get jobs if you do them but you take long while studying them walwa abantu abamu you take 5 years at campus there are some people ngotwale miaka 5 ngosoma ku campus abasau 5 years miaka 5 chokaba nonga batandika dokola yet your other colleagues are still working and you're still studying niye munange bwavayo but when the doctor comes out baba ba muyaya anira everyone desires to work with them kale njagala muchimanye so i want you to know tine katona tali cheap that even god is not cheap ali expensive he's expensive mbo wani kama angu tosobola kufuna byamu kama if you give up very easily you cannot get you cannot get godly things byamu kama ba babifuna ababifuna bibanyikivu it is only the diligent that get divine things Echintu echo nchiraba obunyiki vumbu ntera nyo bulaba mu bantu mu madini ngabiri abasatu I usually see diligence in like three religions Abasiramu banyikira The Muslims are diligent Abangili aba Seventh Day banyikira The Seventh Day Adventists are diligent Na Catholic And the Catholics Na abanglikan But the Anglicans tebatera nyo kunyikira are really diligent era banyikira be bakuze mu myaka and the ones who are diligent are the ones who are old in age nakambe yo church yange and they said that is my church ne bavuka batukane basoma ne basoma ne bavam kanisa but the youths attend services and at a certain time they quit at ne yo mu catholic but a catholic asoma attends mass asaba they pray oba bikolo bate bikola whether things are effective or not they continue being diligent but i don't know what happened to bona gains bwasabira wantu omwaka gumunga tafunye when they pray from somewhere for a, a year without receiving any mwako go kubiringa anonya ya walala they look for another church in the second year obanze bintu nzembira bo bubi i don't know whether i'm the one who sees things differently nze manyinti katonda go saba wana but i know that the god that you pray to from here yikatonda yo mwali muguru go sabire masaka is the same god who is in heaven that you pray to in masaka chitigumu yaliyo is the one in chitigumu in south africa yaliyo is the one in south africa ni nso ngara chitugenda makanisa agenja uro but the reason why we roam from one church to another chechi sa echiri ku bantu abaweleza ba mukama abenja uro it is the grace that is upon the different servants of god amen amen era manyi wano nti muze and i know that you have come here nekato na manyi nti wali and you know that god is present in this church ne mumanyi echi sechiri kubula mu bwange but you know the kind of grace that i bear era na cho mucheta akachibakole mu mulimu and you need it to do a good work in you mukama yibaziwe praise the lord so ebibi ebiyo therefore that is that unakulwa ale njagala kogera ku bintu bingi ko today i would like to talk about a number of things na ye okusinga but most important njagala kuogera ku chigamu chibaita omuwendo gwosa sura i like to talk about the price that you pay kubanga mujukire ntuli mukusiba remember we are fasting okuva kuma chok tukolwe gulo from morning to evening ngona go muwendo that is a price too njagalo ngambire munno how to tell your neighbor nti muguru teva ebya werere that there is nothing that comes from heaven and it's free of charge mudem there is nothing that comes from heaven and it's free of charge ngame ne mulago byagwaya and even there's nothing free of charge in mulago praise the lord bidi ruda wa wala womanyi what else is it that you know tewali that there's free things Hati, there's nowhere bulichola ba kiva muguru you know every divine thing that you see yeah, by the way momanyi products is a guru do you know divine products ani amanyi nti chino who knows that these ani amanyi bintu ebiva muguru who knows the things that come from heaven isebo sombe mirembe peace okay yes. it's seven years thank you so much Umlala. another one akati yinda ko now first wait what we be tala bi kana maso but this agala mbi focusing i don't want you to focus on the invisible heavenly products 
Jagala to bring at some sermon to Gayaka Loko Banga Loko Kanga. Let's assume we are teaching someone who has never been born again or has just been converted. And they can know many things. Who can tell me? Now, let me first say this. Now, let me first say this. Who knows the things that are manufactured from Japan? Who has ever seen them? Yes, sir. How do you know? They usually okay. have a logo. Ba, ba they label them. Made in Japan. Amen. Amen. Now, and even things that are manufactured from here, they also bear a label. And even if you don't see the label, you can see them. Amen. Amen. Many times I make this statement. I think you have ever heard of it. That whatever God makes is everlasting. God does everlasting things. He made insects. Man. Animals. Creatures. He made them once. But they are still around. They have existed long, 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 many years. But we are still seeing them. Praise the Lord. So whatever God makes is everlasting. Everlasting things belong to heaven. They come from heaven. But these things that are temporary, they come from the devil. The devil doesn't make anything durable. The devil can give you something that is very beautiful. But it cannot spend 20 years. But if it looks like it has been long, he comes and steals it from you. Because what he's after and his joy is to see you cry it hurts him if something doesn't make you cry so he has to make sure that something makes you cry and so many times some of the things that make cry, if you want to make the devil cry for some of those things that would cause you to cry and never make you cry. Please be strong and, and be cheerful in the Lord. And also present as scriptures to why you have not cried. You have to show your heart in the midst of tears. Someone expects you to have lost something. And you're going to cry because of that. But if you have hope, you can encourage yourself. And you say, yes, I've lost that. But I'm going to get something that has just been manufactured. There is a, a, a sister who, whose phone was robbed and they talked to me. I told them no they've taken an old model you're going to get a new model learn to encourage yourself in the Lord Amen. I mean, learn to encourage yourself in the Lord before you even read the Bible learn to encourage yourself the beautiful ones are not yet born if you are taken I'm going to receive which is which is new I'm going to get something that is fresh that is new Amen. Amen. who has understood that I can feel that you're really heavy how many of you don't understand do you know why you're heavy when you pray you don't break through that is the price that I'm going to talk about anyone who is heavier than the normal weight cannot run a, a normal race every height, height has its own weight that someone has to carry let me repeat it. 
Nilonga muli bazimu. Ni quite complicated today. But I will handle. Buli height. Every height. Elinoku bako ne weight yaye. Has its own weight. Okusinzira mu basawo. According to the medics. Ani eri achi ulide. Was ever heard of that? Eh. Which man? You know it. Height yo. Your height. You go and weigh and see how much you weigh. The, the doctors advise you to stop weight. You've gone beyond the weight that you have to carry. How come there's no women? Are you eyes still roaming around? Or you're hungry? How many of you are hungry? Let's pray to go to break right now, not at five. At six, rather. How many of you say that but that is what the Lord has said? And they bring the porridge. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Every height, Every height has to have a corresponding weight. Now, if you believe that, and you want, don't I want you to stop here, amen. you say amen at that. Do you develop a rush when you say amen? Eh? I thought that you develop a rational Every height has to have a corresponding weight. And I think I'll ask God to give us a wings here. In our new church that we'll build. At the entrance. When you enter, the door shall open by itself. When you enter, it closes by itself. The sensors can detect that you're coming and they open and you enter. Now you enter and first take your weight. Once you get to 100 kg, we look for a seat for you. In a seat that you will not break. Who says that's good? <laughs> Amen. Amen. You take Dr. Katumba to have a word with you. That according to your height, you've gone past the weight that you have to carry. Now there's an extra weight on you. Amen. Amen. Now they tell you what to do. You don't have to eat these kinds of food. Try and run and exercise. And things of the like. Amen. Amen. Now let's put that aside. It is very important to know what I'm going to talk about. Most especially, I'm Watoto Church. Today I was listening to the pastors from Watoto Church. They've been having a fast from yesterday to today. There's a pastor who preached and that words made me glad. Amen. Amen. It was like that is really good. Praise the Lord. But there's also something that I'm about to share. Not his words, but these are my words. The pastor was talking about a different topic. But as for me, there's a topic that I would like to share with you. The truth is, every born again has ever fasted. And we even pray. But the problem is, it's not that everyone that prays gets results. People have fasted, but people don't get any results from the fast. Now, I know that it's very deadly. Are you listening? And I repeat it because I've been talking about it of late. Every time you fail at something, it is very dangerous not to discover the cause of your failure. It is very important. When you fail, discover why you failed. If you don't discover, the devil will come and put his pulpit there and begin to lie to you. 
Amen. Amen. You'll either I choose God. Oh, I choose you. Because no, 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 the devil, I'm talking to the devil. The devil can end up choosing God. Or I choose you. Because of the situation, because of the failure. That's why many times I want to correct the errors. <sighs> Collecting the errors. Because I have experience, not so big. But the experience I have is enough to help me to teach you. Because there are things that have overcome. And you also need to overcome the same. Something very easy that Jesus left with us is prayer. And there is no other way in which you can inform God about what hurts apart from prayer. But prayer, most people have prayed but have not gotten any results. But they've not sought the, the, the reason why they've not gotten. And if you don't get that to know the reason why you've not received, and you don't make research about why you have not received, you have given the devil a palpit. He can take two months and then he comes and starts accusing you. Okay, see, even God hates you. When you prayed, you never received. Didn't you fast the other time? Now, why are they telling you to fast again? How come you didn't get anything the other time? When Pastor prayed for you, the other time, why is it that you didn't receive? When you don't get an answer for it. Because so many times. There is a reason why you have not gotten something. And you have to know that reason. When you go and apply for a visa. And you're denied one. They give you a reason why. Maybe it doesn't favor you. But they still give you a reason why you didn't get the visa. Are we together? How many of you are on the same page as me? Well? Now listen. I know everyone has come because of their own reason. Even if you find me talking about this. But you were told that when you go to that church, your problem will be no more. Don't mind, just listen to my words. The Holy Spirit shall get to you in his own way. Therefore, I request you to come down and listen. Don't start jeering at yourself. I was expecting. Do you know what Naman said? I was expecting the, the prophet to come out and hit me with his mantle so I can receive my healing. Now you've also come. We're expecting the me to see in the spirit. To see that woman who bewitched you. And also mention her name. Now you're hearing him talk about other things. He's talking about prayer. You feel as if you're at a loss. Praise the Lord. So I don't want you to be at a loss. Amen. Amen. Listen to what I'm saying. And God knows your issue very well. He'll now listen. Everyone prays. But why is it that at times we pray and we don't receive? That really hurts. Because every time you fail, by the time you give it another shot, there's that voice that follows you. Asking you how come you prayed for the other time but you didn't receive. Do you think it's only that voice? Even the people around you, the relatives, they begin to ask you, what have you gotten from the born again? This is the second year. This is the third year. You pray with the people and you're still at the same level. What is it that you've gotten from the born again? Where is your God? That really hurts. But you have to first know why is it that I've spent this long without the Lord answering me? Is it my fault? Amen. Amen. Is there anything that I'm not doing right? It is very important to discover. And every time you discover, you can have the strength. And you can also have the hope. 
Amen. Amen. Do you see that that is really right? Now also this issue of prayer. It is good that even if someone is challenging you, you can have an answer for them. Now before I go any further, if someone finds you, and they challenge you and they ask you, Mr. Sesanga, we see you pray from Nangabo. But what have you gotten from Nangabo? Not only Mr. Sesanga, you too. What answer can you give them? Did you see? I was told to wait. But how can you give such an answer? That is why your relatives have spoken against you and they've taken you off track. Why? Because you lack answers. But now you've come. Let's ask brother. If someone asks you, is it your first time to come? Second time. Why are you coming from? Ovidi Dewa. Masoli and this one. Your sister. So, is it your first time? Uh, now I want someone who has prayed with us for a long time. I've seen her for a long time. If someone comes and asks you, ever since you started praying with the born again, what have you ever gotten? What would you answer? I for one. What I would answer them. I've gotten peace. Someone cannot accept. They can even say that you're lying to me. Do you know? You know the hidden desire to see physical things. Because they walk by. They want you to show them that something tangible. I was barren. I never used to work. My pastor prayed for me. Now I started working. Now that is victory. You tell them you've seen the time that I was here with you. I would do everything I needed to put to waste. But when I started praying with the born again, now I work. I've been able to buy myself a table. I never sleep hungry anymore. You understand? There is something that you show someone. Unless if you have things that we show to other people. There is no explanation you can give. Because there are so many sects of, of there are even some people that we talk about that they already there are those people that refer to as a cult but how will you confirm that you Jesus works how are you the one that I'm looking at where are you coming from have you ever been here? How about the other one? Have you ever been here once in what year? I don't remember the year. Yes. Was it before the lockdown? It's been a long time. Weren't you about to make it close? Or maybe you've come to a wrong place. Where one day? Is this the right place? What you want about no kid you can say the chain? Huh? You can say the chain would watch a man. Inside was the church. What Jana? Who did you come with? What Javanj? Banj. Is there anything that you received from here or not? The people who got something. Now for you, you didn't get anything. Yes. So how can you go back to a place that you never got anything from? I cannot go back to a place where I didn't get anything from. The only thing that took me back is the fact that the people that I came with got something from them. 
Give me an example of the person who is And what did they get? They were not working, now they started working. Now you have a reason why you're coming back because there's something that you saw. You understand? If I were you, I would also come back. Even if I had to be But if I see that there's something, someone who received something from here, that evidence brings me back here. Amen. Amen. Now, if, if someone asks you that what takes you to the Pentecostals, what do you reply? If someone asks you, where is your God? David in the scriptures cried. And he was saying, God, people are asking me relentlessly where my God is. But what were they actually asking him? They were asking him, show us the works of your God. Amen. I mean, show us what God has done for you. Background is a faith. Our background. I have sorcerers. I have the heathen. And so many people who call themselves religious. But there is no way you're going to challenge anyone. If you come without expecting anything from God. You only challenge someone else when you have something. And what you expect to get, when you hold on to it, that is when other people will follow you. But if you don't have anything to your name, and you just keep saying that Jesus lives, they'll ask you, what has your Jesus done? That is what brings us. Also holding ah, on to God. Go. To do for us So that we get a point where we speak from. Do you understand? Now do you see this girl? Were you in Dubai? Where were you? Dubai. This one. The first day she came here. She had spent two years, but they two years. But since she came back from Dubai, I think she had been bewitched. And she could barely walk. She was just lifted and supported. The very first day she came here, God delivered her. And you see, she, now she just used to be supported. But now, She's becoming better and better by the day. Now, why she stays? The gospel preaches by itself. Because she could barely walk by the time she came. For two years. A person who was walking well and she didn't bother the plane. For two years, her legs were twisted and she could not walk. But as we speak, she can walk. And I told you that she should continue doing exercise. Even whichever way she's walking now, she shall be rectified. She was brought here when people were supporting her. That is what confirms to us. Now, whoever passes by her in her area of residence, the people who have known her for the two years more, now they just keep allowing her to come here. Why? Because there is evidence that she shows. Now, if there is some evidence that you would love to display, be determined to receive something every time you come into the presence of God. Not only praying, because everyone has ever been in that religion. You come, you Catholic or Anglican, and you pray, and you go back. There is nothing that you're expecting. You've just come to worship God. That is not the way you're supposed to be. Come before God, expecting Him to work for you. And after Him working for you, that is why you'll be established and tell people that you know what. God told the seed of Jacob not, never to seek Him again. When I sought the Lord, this is what he gave me. 
It's not because we want miracles. God is a miracle worker, yes. But he can even change your life. And you start living a blessed life. And when you plant food, it grows. Amen. The people who once knew you as a failure. Indeed, they can no longer see your failure at all. And that is what they call a person who seeks the Lord. Now, today I would like to talk about. I like to talk to you, the born against that prayer. What hinders you from getting some things? You get some things and you don't get others. Some blessings in God are deep. Go to the sea. Go to the lake. There are some fish that you can catch, like the silver fish. But there are those things that come from the deep. The fish. Like what kind of fish? What fish swims in deep waters? Well, Lukwaki. if you want to, to fish a well, you don't expect it on the surface. You have to go deeper. It is in depth that you get those big fish. The last time, Boat cruise. I've gone for a boat cruise. I was dozens of Luzira. Kumazi. On the waters. Near, I, I think it's called a boat. Na ye. But we found fishermen who were sailing Misana. on the water in broad daylight. And I asked the person who was riding the boat, and he was also our guide at the same time. I asked him what they were doing. And he told me that those ones were And when they see the police boat, they take off very fast. And he told me that one of them once drowned and even died. But I, I didn't know that at that time they can cast nets. But I was seeing them cast nets. Like, oh, when they cast the nets, they actually catch fish. So I would see them ride around and get those big fish. But they were in the midst of the lake. But the most dangerous thing, we were both in the midst of the sea, of the lake. But for them, they were on that boat the we were on a speed boat that was by an engine but that was a manual one but they were with me and I was seeing them cast nets and catch fish and they were in the midst of the lake and they kept catching fish and they would keep putting the fish in that boat so I asked our guide so why did, were they scared when they saw us didn't you see them first pause and they noticed that this was not a police boat then they went ahead with their business praise the Lord the big fish are gotten from the midst of the lake and it's a risk so many times. I came, I, I came out of the boat cruise thinking about that man who fell in the lake. That, that, was, that boy will swim now they thought up that to the sores. But they failed. It's not easy to get used to water. Amen. I'd like to inform you that in the same way there's a price that you pay to catch the big fish or the big miracles the miracles that we get in church and there is no endeavor of yours if a pastor is anointed and he comes and tells you something it comes to prayers. pass as long as you believe 
Those are so many. And you people want the counseling services to be restored. That is and a not here. And when you come for counseling, I tell you, go and get this. And indeed you get it. And majority of you have seen them. And some of the things have made you angry because because you come all focusing on the biggest of your problems. And you think that pastor is going to say a long prayer for you. And even his mucus and saliva will pop out and he will cry. And even even perform rituals over you and skip over you skip over you so that your problems can get away then you notice that it's as if he's not mindful of your problems and then he tells you go everything that really bothers a lot of people here in Nanda who has it ever bothered here it's quite a number of you but you first receive something and then you say you know what how has this even happened? How many of you have ever been bothered by that? It is so many of you. Unless if you've never come here. There is nothing like saying long prayers here during the counseling session. Pastor can tell you go in This is going to happen. And indeed it happens. You have not prayed. You have not fasted. There is nothing that has happened. But as long as you believe. I once told you of a lady who had not believed. She left here contending. She first was denied a Canadian visa. And she came here. I asked her where she was coming from. And she was telling me she was coming from Kasanga at around Kanobesi zone. And I asked her what she wanted. And she told me she wanted a Canadian visa. And I told her to go receive one. And she looked at me and she told me, I'd request that I narrate to you what I've been going through. I told her, no, I don't need it. She insisted and I told her, don't worry, you've gotten one. We were seated over there and I was praying from the other place. And she walked on. And I I so I asked her to come back to me and she came back. And she thought that I had given her an opportunity to narrate the story. I told her that if you're going to Canada, you've already made it there. The people who are there clapped. And I think some people knew how I operate. If I confirm something, it, it's surely in existence. So she left, but she was mad. She's the one who tells us that later. She went back. And she was denied a visa. And then she was like, but God. These pastors are complicated. You mean you also died? How can a man assure me twice? So she didn't come back. I think the one who brought her is the one who helped her. And told her, you know what? There is nothing that pastor can say and doesn't come to pass. You either didn't believe. Or there's something wrong. And this person who brought her to the Jigo Bank. And she said, you will give it one more shot after believing what he told you. This is what she told me and she told it to me in church. Do you know what she told her? And when she went ne back, visa. she was granted e a, visa, a Canadian visa without any disturbances. Another one came here and wanted a USA visa. On that day, there's a lady, I wonder who is from. She had come very early at 4 a.m. for And she was beaten by a dog up there. So she came here crying. The guards opened for her. And I asked someone who knew of a doctor who preached that in the dungeon. There's someone who said that they knew that place. And, the and, and so there was a lady who had come for counseling. And I was like, let me just escort them. 
She sacrificed her slaughter and went and escorted her. Now, on getting to the clinic, when it was about no. to dawn, before she even left, I told her, Now that you had come, you're you're about, to come, you're about, to come, you're about to come to me, you come and I pray for you. So I asked her the reason why she had come. And she told me. She wanted a visa. And I asked her what, what a visa to wear. And she told me an American visa. And I told her, thank you so much for deciding to escort her. Go and receive a visa in Jesus' name. And she went. Little did I know that in that very week she was going back. Yet she had just been denied a visa. When she went back, she was given a visa. Why was she given? Because of the word of authority. And another thing, she believed. It is the heart which believes. The Bible that that the person believes with her heart and confesses with her mouth. What caused her to receive a visa? There was not a long prayer that was made for her. But what caused her to receive a visa? She believed. In the recent past, I've been talking about believing. 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 There are some words in Uganda that change. You speak one word, but it's not, if it's not fully explained, you get so faith. Faith. Faith and believing are all called Okukiriza in Uganda. There's also some huh? other word that I talked about these things. She. Love and a huh? will. It's a unless someone tells you that the, they mean kindness or grace you someone can talk about kindness, someone's kindness or grace, or grace but it's not like that. That. now also believing, believing and faith and share and the same word in Luganda Amen. Now, if you want to take a miracle, if you want God to work in your life, you have to believe with your heart. Believing is together. What does believing mean? Believing is a condition of the heart. You accept. Once your heart accepts something, I'm telling you, you get it. Once your heart accepts, once your heart rejects anything, let me tell you, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't happen. If someone's heart really believes that they're all and they're determined, they determine the thing. Even if they fail severally, they, they go up it finally. It is the heart that decides. When the had decided something definitely happened. Now, even in divine things, even if you've not seen it with your eyes, but when you determine that this shall come to pass in my life, surely it does happen. Now, why is it that some things happen? Because you would have believed that it you will accept. happen. In other words, when I'm teaching about believing, I call it accepting. Once your heart accepts then it's done some people come to church and doubt when you doubt anything from God you can't receive it even if you fast and pray for 40 days God speaks to you and you doubt because you've never seen it anywhere you will never receive it doubt is bad Amen. Amen. So, to it we are called And by the way, sister, I don't know why my pulpit has been stationed here. Why do we believe in God? It is a very simple. It's not reason. a son of man to lie. Once you understand who God is, you do away with doubting. 
That is the first thing which I discovered in my life. Because I grew up a religious person. I know everything about religion. Not everything, but some things at least. Because I grew in religion. I grew as a singer in church. Praise the Lord. I prayed from various churches. And by the time I got saved, I was singing in the cathedral at Namirembe. I saw the reverend and the canons were also there. The vinca of the cathedral and the bishops were also there. I know everything. I knew whatever I knew. Now one thing I discovered among the Pentecostals I discovered God. All the other things are also but there's a difference. Mr. Msinguzi could have three rooms and that is three but you're not there. But was that I wanted to see Mr. Msinguzi. And I know that this is the home he's now in. I don't live. Even the other one is his home. But you're told, this entire week is this particular home. This is why he's been spending the nights. I realized that in the home of God, he was present in the born again. I didn't get saved from here. I got saved from here. But where I got saved from, I discovered that the big man resisted there. But even while we used to be, those were still in the But as the investments he had done, and the investments he had done, I was looking for a person. And I discovered at that particular moment he was in that place. And I sat and I tested. I saw him. So the moment you discover who God is you do out with doubt. The Bible says this is not a son of man to lie. If he says something, then he has said it. Silver and gold belongs to him. Now, what would he gain from lying to me? That is what he has So, what would he gain from lying to me? And let me tell you something. He never lied to me. Why? Ever since I got there, I've never traveled to the first world. But I have things in my life that some people in the first world don't even own. He didn't lie to me. You said, no. Oh, you pastors, you Am I the only pastor? In the churches, born again churches. But they've not yet achieved the level that I'm at today. Let me repeat this. It's not that every pastor has to be likened to me. That even some pastors in Kampala. And by the time they but they don't have what I have today. When I tell you that I in his church, and he blessed me, he indeed blessed me. Some people say those pastors have it's have white like even no, no, again, uh, live here and go America, to America um, and the white uh, the whites give them dollar. They buy shoes and fair away. Where do I, 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 I don't know why America is. is. Yes, I'll travel to there. And wherever good things come from, I shall travel there. I've been to Dubai twice and it's you people who took me there. And I don't stay there for long. I only stay for a week. What I'd like to tell you is I'd like to lift the Lord. 
that what I am today, I am not it because of aging wife. You can also be the same. What I am today, you can be what I am today because I didn't become this because of my rich relatives. My father died minus giving me an echo. Not even a plot of land. Among his children, I didn't receive anything. But how has this happened? Pastor who has held you by the hand. And the invisible man. That, that person who is invisible. Who does this? Is the one I've been praying to. I am here to inform you that what I am is not a huge miracle. You can also be the same. Why? We both never traveled to America. You don't have rich relatives. I too don't have rich relatives. Maybe we both have never received anything from our friends. If I pray to one who is invisible, and the person I pray to is invisible, Surely you become it. Why am I telling you all these things? I also go to a certain extent before the Lord blessed me. And there was this temptation that got me. After receiving my calling, I would ask myself, but now I... Lord, when will I ever go to place? And God meets me with someone who will hold me by the hand. Until when I just let everything be and the Lord spoke to me. To know that, that, that God spoke to me. There's a friend of mine whose name I shall not reveal. Pastor Chibomonozi. I once told him about it. He met me and told me. I had a single dog and he told me, get your car sell it and get money for a ticket huh? and I will help you apply for a visa I will take you to the UK and then you go to different churches and they will raise money for you for equipment, church equipment village churches cannot be pro prosperous without uh, equipment he gave me that opportunity and I felt like as if it was an answered prayer but there's a way I do my things I first inquired from the Lord I took back that report to God but when I went before the Lord God answered me something that really discouraged me and I just let him. I didn't get back to him and he also let me pray. You know some people who have made it in <laughs> life <laughs> <who are laughs> us, most especially us from the villages. <laughs> Times he says, you know what? I gave that one an opportunity to go. So many people pay a lot of money for such opportunities. <laughs> this is what they usually say. <laughs> in the village. <laughs> Can I say this? Village, I praise the Lord. In the village. Help me, Babazi, so that I'm not alone. There is nothing good to get from the village apart from food. I didn't get back to him because I didn't know what to tell him. But I went with the Lord's report. I waited upon the Lord. He took me step by step. One day I found him at, 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 a, at a certain barrier. I bumped into him. And there's no one could even see. By that time, there is something that I had received. And he told me, Pastor, thank you. And I asked him why he had made that comment. Like, I'd even changed the car. Like, I've never found your car by the roadside. And you're holding a jerry can to go refill your car. But that spoke a lot to my life. 
Because in that time, I even started constructing a fence. Up there. I had not put any building inside there. That day, I was just thinking, and I was like, God, if I had gotten by what He had gone by what he had suggested. Where will I have started preaching the gospel from? My gospel is to fellow poor people. Hello. Fellow villagers who think that they are forsaken. Because my father died when I was still young. And he died minus leaving me in the And I started wondering how I was going to survive. But look at someone who has no one who has given them aid. They're in the village. If you've started up a church in the village, at times you ask yourself, which people will come to the church that will help take it by the hand? And I grew up, and I begot more children, and there's someone who laughed at us. We thought it was a friend, was our friend. And we have to So our children were going to start school. My wife told them, our children, we want our children to start school. I think they should start studying from Gaza Junior. And the, the other person said, no, you will not handle that school. There's a way they mentioned it, showing that your level and the amount of money that you have you cannot even pay a quarter of the school fees of that school I told there's a, a certain school there. there are people who usually help I was like okay I went back before the Lord and I said God did you save me to become a slave or a child but God told me you are a child and I told him but you said that when a child asks for bread you don't give them a stone my dream is to have my children start from Gaza Junior School out of the blue God performed a miracle we took them they accepted them but that person we kept thinking that we're doing everything out of pride. Where would they get the money? They'll have By to then, get the money. The By then, the, the job that we had the, the work that we had at Kasangat, there's not a lot of money that you'd collect from there. No, no, so and you educate your child from such a school. And yet, there were two and they followed one another. But I would like to bless the Lord. What I don't have, he has. Every time I looked through my hands, I would say that whatever has not yet come into my hands, he has it. I would pull it down and give it in. God helped me. He didn't stop at that. He's still helping me till today. The things that have started in my life, the great people and those people who can never themselves have thought that is pride they will not accomplish that that is pride where will he get the money not knowing that our money we the children of God comes from God our job our jobs come from God our marriages you can even look through your entire clan by this time, but our marriages come from God the Bible says our help comes from they come from above why? Raja. Raja. You can look around and look for money and you fail to, to, to get it. Because we get our help from above. When we come to church and put our eyes up 
eyes up. We pull down what we need. And they start wondering the next day where you get that. That is why I'm telling you that what you want to get. No one should lie to you that you'll see someone else. Our store is up in heaven. Heavenly things come from above. Heavenly products come from above. Every time they would see me start up something new, they would ask themselves, how will he go about it? In Kasangati, I started so many projects. There are so many projects that I started here in Kasangati. Amen. In Kasangati. In Kasangati. As the first one to have a photo studio, a good looking photo studio. Amen. Amen. And we would take photos. And we we'll also put in our bridal salon. In Kasangati. As the first to bring airtime. When in those days when they used to sell airtime and service fee. In Kasangati. As the first one. To sell those photos. Those days when the cameras used to use films. I was the first one to bring them to Kasangati. I'm a very hardworking man. And I'm very innovative with business and, and business successful in Kasangati. I was the first one to bring a Polaroid camera. The people who saw that were photogenics. Well, the photogenics. It would have Take for express passport photos. And by the time that bank, the first microfinance bank that we had in Kasangati, we were in the, just in their neighborhood. And we would work from morning to evening. Teachers would come from one school, queue up with the students. They take a, a photo of you. And you'd get your express passport photos. Mukasangat. In Kasangati. As the first to deal with the radio. There would be a radio play. And all the gospel artists. I used to get the newly released album that is why I used to get the music and I would bring all that to Kasangati by evening I would have a lot of money on me I'm selling music I'm selling films we take passport salon there's a bridal salon and we would even sell jelly we used to even who says that a born again doesn't work those things are anti-hypo. Whoever saw my investments, raise your hand if you've hey, ever seen me. I'm the one who started up all that. I'm the one who invented all that. Praise the Lord. And by the way, the, the work was it was very prosperous. I never traveled to America. And I've not traveled there as yet. I've never been to Canada. UK, South Africa, Sindagenda. South Africa, I've never been there. Been there. Dubai. But I've only been to Dubai. And I didn't take the So what I'd like to tell you, whatever I am, I'm not in the first world because I've lived in the first world. I am it because of Jesus. Hello. Secondly, I know how to make money. Thirdly, I know how to pray. And to believe God. To believe the unseen. Praise the Lord. I know how to believe the unseen. And in my mind and heart. 
There is no one who cannot receive. If I received, and the fact that I got saved when I was saved, it helped me a lot because I didn't, I didn't get saved. I didn't join born again churches because I was There's no problem that I had. And I joined salvation. In that time, people used to say that born again are false prophets. I used to fear going to Nagena I used to go in stealthily. What brought me back to the bone again? I just went to see to check out the back. And I sat at the back. And I would not even close my eyes. How, how dare you not close my eyes? I sat at the back. And I looked on. That day, if I were to write a book, that day, I was amazed. I'd, I'd never seen how born against prayer, that kind of prayer. They pray. I think now things have changed. I think people even oh. used to overdo oh. it. Oh. So oh. 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 I really couldn't handle that. I like, will not come back. The only thing that took me back, I walked and reached home as from school. I take off my school uniform and I put on my, my home clothes. I sat and I thought like there was something unusual about me. I didn't pray. There is no one who had prayed for me. But I just branched off to a born again church to see. And whatever I saw was unpleasant. It was not really. It's not what has interested me. There are those things that has interested me. And I was not admiring anything about them. What surprised me. It's as if I was like one who had been carrying a heavy burden and it was taken off me. I was having a lot of peace. And I asked myself, I who doesn't have money, what has happened to me? What did these men do to me? How come there's no one who touched me? So I was like, I have to go back the very last time. On going back, there's nothing that I saw I just even took more offense I found people who are singing but they were not singing like we, used to sing. we used to follow scripts while singing there must be someone to conduct the hallelujah chorus hallelujah 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 I'm like where are they even getting the lyrics from and I said God these people were pretend that they are so prayerful if you ever answer this prayer then I know that whatever they worship is real <laughs> do you know what I asked <laughs> for I told God something that I knew was I was in school and, and I asked God for a specific amount of money I was not testing God that I was asking for a billion shillings. I asked for money that a worker can receive as payment that was in my head at that time. That is why I, what I asked for. And I went back. But I still had my peace. Now, after a few days, I'd even forgotten about Mami what I'd asked for. There's a gentleman who came home and talked to my parents. After them having that chat, I was at the dining sitting table. Room. The sitting room was just next to the dining room. I was minding my own business. I'd already greeted the gentleman and he was getting on. I was like, Luwama. Can I give you some money? It's like, thank you so much. And my parent had gotten out. Good thing she even got out. Because the man gave me money that I had not helped before. I think she would have wondered why he was giving me that much money. Started counting the notes and gave me the money. 
So can you take them? No. I first put it in my pocket. When they when they went out, I Mbala went to the bedroom. Mbala. On counting the money, na sabaze, it was the real amount of money that I had asked God for. Oh. That's like my goodness. Mbule. Like maybe he has made a mistake. It was around 6 p.m. That's like which, route shall, which direction shall I take because they've taken this direction. But if he has given me access, by morning he will have noticed. So morning came. I waited for him. He didn't come back. The next day, I used the money. That's like if he asks for it, I'll tell him that I used it. Why was he even giving me this much money to tempt me? So I went to um, bookshop. You got a bookshop. So I went to I, I went Bible to Bible. Uganda bookshop and I bought a Bible with that money. And that had really taken me out of the spirit. It was stolen from me. And, ch and I hated born again churches. <laughs> I really got angry. How can they steal my Bible from church? They should have stolen it from school, but at church. From that day, I knew that if even thieves come to church. I don't know whether there are any thieves in here. But please keep watching my property. My, my new Bible was stolen from me. Now that is how I went back to the born again. Now my real establishment in, in salvation. The fact that I was too invested in the Koi Anglican Church. I was tired of that music. And for me to serve again. It was a friend of mine. Who knew me and knew my singing history. It's called Paul Mutebi. He had joined a band at the old Miracle Center. Amen. Amen. He was playing the keyboard back then. And he asked me to join them and sing. So I joined them. And I was now changing the kind of music that I used to sing. Amen. Amen. That is how I ended up in joining ministry. Now listen to this. In everything that I saw, I used to make my research. What I'm telling you is my experience. Someone can say in Uganda, and they don't have any relatives. And they pray to God. And wait upon God, not knowing who he'll use. And God works for them. If you don't believe that, take me as an example. If you have not believed in me, it's up to you. So I don't know what better example I can give you. But even if you don't have parents, the Bible says, when my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. God can take you up when you are forsaken by parents. Even if your husband left you, you can still pray. And God uses someone, a stranger. There is something I've never told you. After joining the born again, there's a man who used to stay in It was a lady. I don't even know how she ended up home. And she greeted me. She was a married woman. And she used to stay around Wakaliga. Hello, hello, how are you? And she would come greet me and then leave. Praise the Lord. And I would tell Mukalazi to help her with whatever she did. I shall not switch to Mukalazi's story. One day the lady came and told me, There's a car of mine that I'm selling. If you get me buyers, I'll give you some money, you and Mukalazi. What does she want from me? Yet I'm now, where will I get the buyers? 
And I told her no problem. I went to her home. And I had a look at the car. And she opened for me the garage and I saw the car. I didn't even know how to drive. Now, so I just let that be. I don't even know how God connected me to a man. There's a man who stays around Mengo Chisenyi. He's a Muslim man. I don't even know how we met. And I spoke to that man. And I told him, you come and I'll take you to where I live. So I directed him to, I directed him home. We left home and went to see the car. I was so surprised. The man bought the car. And I didn't even know what it means to be a broker. He gave the, she gave me 200,000 shillings. It was too much money for me. And I first got to town. I didn't even know what it was to charge. And I consumed all the money. I consumed all the money. I bought things, bags, And I could have it just the money. When you're poor, there's a spell that's I didn't even know what it means to save. But I was just making sure that I used the money. You eat hard corn, sabotas, soda. And it's as if you're, just, you're going to die the next day. That aside. <laughs> Now you can be in a place and you don't have anyone that knows you. You kneel and pray to the God of the born again. I don't know how he does his things, but he does them. Recently I thought about this again and I said this is what fever um, is. No this lady loved me. Si as not her age mate. But she loved me nevertheless. And it is through her that so God, no ziri. Zisi God wanted to use her as an, an avenue of me getting that money so my faith could be lifted. If there is anything that God would love to do for <laughs> you, I'd like to tell Kaburu you, waita. he can never fail to find a way. <laughs> He can never fail to find a way. I confirm that. Even if you're deep in the village, God can work. Praise the Lord. God can. God is able. I've seen a lot. And I'm still seeing. But what I would like to tell you is the people who see the things that are connected are always connected. That is why some people say he's lying. He has connections to the state house. He's lying. He goes beneath the waters. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> he has great men behind <laughs> him. He has aid from the whites. <laughs> Which white person are you even talking <laughs> about? <laughs> year after year, 25 years they've not even come to check what <laughs> they're investing in. That cannot happen. <laughs> you just see white. <laughs> I also just see them from <laughs> a I'm like you. <laughs> but there's no way they love pictures with a church that looks like this how can they go to come and take pictures they show off if they can take pictures how about this place that is as clean as heaven please let's not be lied to those things that you have done up there if it, is, it was aid from the whites You'd see them around. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> they love taking pictures. You know them very well. The whites can be all over the place. They can go to the wind. They have got to be But they want to show There is no aid from whites here. Oh. Who has ever lived with a white? You're usually with a white. Who has ever lived with a white? Hey, you were the one. Hey, 
sense of love. He stays in London. Praise the Lord. But let me tell you something. We are opportune to have someone from London with us. I've not seen him for only a year. I have your contact. Tell us if you really have your God. ever received a phone call with me asking you for a million I want to take back my children to school. No pastor. That is enough. Whatever I am, it's been Jesus. Whatever I am, it's been God. And whatever we are, here, it's been God. Let's move on to another thing. Some people, when they see you ascend levels, they say that you went beneath the, the waters. If you really know that, that means demons. It's very good. <laughs> Someone went under the lake and. and hmm? Are you listening? It is very hard. With the prayers that we have here. And with the prayers that we say here. For those demons not to have left already. Maybe if you don't know what, what it is. What Jesus told them who were telling him those words. And he told them, you people, when a kingdom is divided, it cannot stand. It cannot fight against each other. It is impossible. He told them, the devil cannot cast out the devil. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, whatever is here, it's 100% God. It's 100% from God. It's God. It is God. Yes. 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 The building that you can visit this year. It is Mr. Chiza Seninde that built it. Not so. That the building that they are constructing at the town council has not, is not yet complete. But how many years has it been? That was before even the, the start of this church. That place would have been a very great place. But these born again. Um, some people even come when they're jobless you understand some people even have jobs that are not that fetching if there are things that look like this it's been God it's God Let's look at the village drive. How big is a pit latrine? Four hmm? by two. Feet. The smallest. Four feet by two feet. The slab that they fix. It the least could be six feet by three feet. That is the slab that they but a person can dig a pit latrine but they fail to fix the slab but here at church you walk around there is nowhere you can find mud even down there we put concrete everywhere if that is not God then what is it no I'm asking you if someone can fail to fix concrete and also cement their houses, you can fix tiles in the ground everywhere. You fix concrete and everything. Oh, Isn't that good? No, the born against do this. I don't want us to stay for the person. It's God. not that every born again can do what we have here. Go to various born again. With even some being in town. 
you can find that there's none of them that has such a pillar. You can find that there's none of them that has chairs. It's been God. Not me, but God. So, if you discover God in this place, look for God. Amen. I told you that a man can own three homes. Amen. President Museveni. President Museveni. Juzi na uli danga. Recently I had. State lodge ya awa. Kali ana state lodges nyingi mkuanga. He has several state lodges in the nation. In the country. Katini wato yugede President Museveni yugeda kukabaka wa Buganda. Now even if you don't talk about President Museveni, talk about the king of Buganda. Walwe na mula banga ali masaka. There's a time I saw him in masaka. Kali na yoru bidi. And he has a palace there. Sicho. Not so. Nga jogging. And he was jogging. He also has a palace in Bamnanika. Yeah. He has a, a, a palace in every parish. But if you want to see His Highness the King, and you go to Banda, it is his home. But if he's absent, he's absent. So you can't see him, even if you are at his home. Not so. Where I was in religion. That is also God's home. Praise the Lord. But I was not looking for the house. I was looking for the owner, for the owner of the house. I had to search for him. Because I wanted to see God in person. I wanted the person of God. But I discovered him in Barokole. Amen. Amen. Now for you, you can say, God is only with you, the Pentecostal. Who says that he's only here? He's also in heaven. The Bible says that he fills the heaven and the earth. So what do we want? We are looking for the person of God. For the presence of God. If you have two homes, I have two homes. I have one in the countryside. I've not yet started living there and I also have this home. But when you come and park, you go and park in the village. I fixed a, a, a gate and there's also a fence. I've never even spent a night there. Now when you sit there and you wait at the gate to wait for my uh, you sit at the gate brother you sit at the gate to wait for me to come I've been spent five months without going there. Others go there but they don't go there because I'm very busy. And you get your seat and you say I'll see him unless if there's something missing. Amen. Amen. Maybe if you're not okay. If you're looking for the person, look for the person. Don't look for buildings. Amen. When I came to Balokoli, it doesn't matter. There are many beautiful churches in Uganda. But I'm looking for the presence of God. Because I want God to work for me. I'm not looking for buildings. There's nothing else that I'm looking for. There are some churches that have better services than we have here. Wonderful choirs. But I'm not after those choirs. I'm seeking after God. You can change my life. All those things are there. But I wanted to tell you that if there's anyone that God has helped, then it's me. And I have come to tell you that God can really help you. The same way she helped this girl who never came Why don't your parents come here so that I can see them? Don't you have parents? But do they usually come? No. Now what happened to them? The God who offloaded them with such a burden. Do you see her? Just like I've told you. How many of you know her? Who saw her? Who saw her the very first time? Did you see her? 
If you don't have parents and you have your younger sibling who is like Dubai, that, who has gone to Dubai and has come back, Bamuroze. she's been bewitched. Musitule. And you just leave time Yezi and help Mukaga. her to work six months, Mwaka. a year. Now it's come to two years. You bring her one evening to church. And she goes back home walking. Why wouldn't you come back and give thanks? A good thing you come. Can take a seat. At times I see her walking around. No one supports her like they used to support her initially. The one who met you here. I pray that he will meet another person today. Stop pitying yourself that you're poor. In your prayers, you keep saying, God, uh, touch my arm in Canada. Maybe it is him that will use no. Even if you don't have God that, God can use that uncle anyone. Canada. That is where he earns his glory from. I want a day to dawn. And this happens to happens Ian to someone Mubiru. the way it happened to Ian Mobiru. There's a brother who used to pray with us and he's called Ian Mobiru. He came here when he was finding it hard in life. And he told me, Pastor, we used to uh, rent in town. But for us to come here to Kasangati, we were looking for cheaper houses. We had failed at life. So they looked for a house around Kasangati. Enchantment started staying there. The born again. And the wife looked for a church. She was directed to this church. And she came and started praying from here. And she told me, pray for me so that my husband can join us. And I said, no. He will bring himself. You know when someone is born again By the time they decide to sit at home It means they fail to get whatever they wanted to the Now for that person to once again come again churches, They have to first see something Somehow God touched the husband And he ended up coming One day he met me We had a chat and whatever I told him, God performed it. What is the most important Mere, thing that a man would want? Is it food? Murimu. A job. And God gave him one. I'd like to bless the Lord from that he kept lifting him step to another step. Hmm? I want you to tell your neighbor that don't, God doesn't lift you at once. God doesn't lift you at once. Tell them stop. With God doesn't lift you at once. Have they learned that you turn to another one and tell them the same? Tell them stop with the pressure. <laughs> what what that is what I have to tell you so you can understand. God promised to take a step by step. Not all at once, but step by step. And each step is a miracle. Step by step. Not all at once. Tell your neighbor, let me speak to you in English. If you're to die, you die. Tell them that not all at once. Not all at once. Forget that. Forget that. Excuse me. Excuse not, me. All not all at once. all at once. If they not saying that, tell them I'll pray for you. Not all at once. Not all at once. Even me that you see before you. I've moved step by step. Even the person who is We listening. all have testimonies. But not we know Judaism. Mpola. So but one thing that I discovered when he works for you just sit in church once he works for you and you get out of church then you lose everything 
That is why Psalm 23 says that goodness and mercy shall always follow me. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord for one month. Not so. Hey, For how long? Okay, Forever. Ngameka. Like how many? Forever and ever. Emirembe ne emirembe. Bobo yakala katonda kolere. If you want God to work for you. Na kolera. And he works for you. Tula mukanisa. Just sit in church. The longevity of the miracle that you received from God comes when you're in church. When you remove it out of church, it dies. Give me an example. Like there are those in house gardens. Who knows them? The flowers. The flowers. They're usually in the white tomatoes. We who stay with the white. Mm. You people don't know this. But we stay with, the, we stay with the whites. We know them. Even them. if it's winter or what? They continue with the 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 but that fruit that that no the house environment no If you change its environment it and dies. put it outside chifa. Amen. Amen. Now in the kingdom of God, there are people who bear fruit from the house of God. Psalms 92 verse 13 and 14. Zabuli you can read there. Kumina satu, kumina. We are planted in the house of God. And we bear fruits in the house of God. The moment you remove that plantation. And you take it out. It dies. I don't know whether you are planted in the house of God. Or you are planted outside. Outside there is winter. There are many things challenges out there. But for us who are planted in the house of God, there is a roof, there is a roof, a glass roof, we we'll receive light, but we are not affected by the snow and the challenges of the outside world. Read for us. Psalm 92 and verse 13. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Who has planted in the house of God? Some of you have not understood. We have plantations. Let the two of you come. Now you choose of the two of you. The one we are going to plant in the house of God. Just make a circle out of the ballistas. Wants to be planted in the house of God. Now you are in the world. <laughs> this is a cedar in the world. It's a cedar tree planted in the house of God. This is a coffee plant in the world. And this is a coffee plant planted in the house of God. This is a tomato in the world. Can you help us and look at the pictures of those in-house gardens and children? Because when I talk about a house, someone just sees their bungalow at home. Like like pastor also. On the tiles, how can we plant that? It's not what I mean. Let's take a look at that picture. You people from London, are there such houses? There are people who have those in house gardens. There are usually yes. flowers yeah. okay. that they grow from inside the houses. But Maggie you once told me that you lived in the US. Didn't you ever see such gardens? Who else has ever seen such gardens? Okay, it may be if you had a dream about them in the 
flowers, the Show us. Have you seen that? I'm most interested in the house. There's a lock that I would like to break. Every time we talk about a house, someone envisions their house at home. So I don't want to house the flowers that are grown inside the house. Now let's talk about flowers. Let's talk about flowers. This flower. Where exactly along Masaka Road are flowers grown? In that place, there are those flowers that are planted in the greenhouse. And those, there are those flowers that are planted outside. Why do they plant flowers in, inside the houses? Who knows why? Why do they plant flowers inside the house? Don't guess, aren't you to be sure of your answer? Let me see, maybe there's some people yeah. here who know why. There's a kind of flowers. We listen to the farmer. They are different types of flowers. They are, they are flowers that are purifiers. That when you put it in an environment, it purifies the air. You're talking about the flowers that they plant. Mm -hmm. And because, because that first time, like abroad, they have little space. They don't have like space like we have in Africa. So they try to utilize every space that they have. So they, 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 yes. Yeah. It, so if, if the person wishes, they can. Now first tell me. Sumba mukulini house. Pass in the greenhouse. Bebe controlling the environment. Baba tuwa kala musana mungi. Tuwa kala kwa nini? They don't want a lot of rain. Obede chuche njagala. That is the answer that. Nori mutufu. She's also right. Ne ono gwemba denjagala. But as most interested in his answer. Zino purifiers. These purifiers. Tubana zo. We always have them. Ne ingo sangange zimu. But you find the sun. Ebi mo bi yingi za. No, we take a yom season. You plant some no, the right season. Season. and you also put them out to receive some sunlight. Like, not so. I was looking yeah. around for you. Yeah. Get a microphone. That's all bothering myself. Yes, here as well. Praise Jesus. Praise In the nature of there are some flowers. flowers. There are some kinds of flowers that cannot bear too much heat. They cannot stand too much heat. They have to be under a shade of the greenhouse. That is why they are so bright. When they are in those greenhouses, they are so bright. 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 Because it will wither. They will clap for her. Now this, that you see, it gets wet by the rain and, the and it even loses branches. And after some time, it grows again. Amen. Amen. Now just like the sun shine, it becomes dry with the sun paka, paka. until... But this one that is in house, if the sunlight is regulated, it is not affected. It bears its fruit in its own season. We are like these trees that are planted in we the house. We are protected from the hazards of the world. Who has understood that? 
ini misang ko sa iyo. Ngay gede. Ani achte gede. Who has understood that? Ani achte gede. And who has not understood? Katu to them so much awa nikuwa. Let's read the scripture. There are people who are planted in the house of God. Walu abantu abasi mbwa mnyumba yamkam. But we are not the same. Na yete tuli chechi mu. Amen. Amen. For us, we are cared for. Feba tu faako. Era ene nyanya. And this tomato plant. Nene nyanya. And that tomato plant. Zifurumia zona ziba nyanya. They are all they all bear tomatoes. Ne conditions ene chine chiba ramu chile tere viva ziba nzibu. By the time this plant brings forth fruit, then it has gone through a lot. Ziba nzibu. It is very. Omusana kudonga ba gose. When it shines, that the sunshine. But this one that is in house, it gets the sunlight. It gets the fertilizers. It's taken good care of. Whether it rains or shines, it continues bearing fruit. And its fruits are always expensive. Because even if it's not in season, this plant keeps bearing fruit. I want us to read the scripture. Psalm 92 and verse 13. Mm. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Why? Rachi. Verse 14 mm. says, they shall still bear fruit in old age, they shall be fresh and flourishing. Praise the Lord. Because this has been planted in the house of God. It is taken good care of. It is watered. It bears fruit in all seasons. Even in old age. You still bear fruit. Say. Tell your neighbor. You're not old. You're grown up. You're just mature. You're not old. You're just mature. Tell them you're not old. Mature. And maturity is wisdom. Tell them I'm also going to tell you in age English. Age is just a number. Age is just a number. Take away your age is just a number. Age is just a number. You shall still bear fruit. You you travel nations. You build apartments. In your old age. Read in Luganda. Maybe Read in Luganda. Verse 13 and 14. Abasimbi ramu nyumba ya mukama. Badi yelera mumpi aza katonda wafe. Badi wanga bacha wale biba langa baka diye. Bali jula mazi bali geja. Ulida. E chigambo okukadiwe chubachi chuse. They should change that word. That word. Bali bali baranga bakuze. Bali jula mazi bali geja. Ku old age. Jumuli no geja. You have to flourish. In salvation we don't age. We just grow. Amen. Amen. There's nothing like an age limit in salvation. We are like in seven. There's no age limit. Praise the Lord. There is no age limit in salvation. You can still bear a child at 99 years of age. Ah. Praise you can still bear a child at 99 You can still have a wedding at 63 years of age. Didn't I show you, Prosy? I prophesied to her when she was 62. And I, I prophesied a wedding in her life. And she laughed at she, There's a laughter that she made. Did she get the wedding at 83? Where's Paul? I've seen him around. Come and tell us that is her auntie. At what age did your mom get wedded? Age is just a number. Since they've been saying, 
Tell your neighbor you're still young. I expect a wedding from you. It is you that shall take us outside. It is you that will take us outside. Encourage yourself. There, the man you look as if even if the man chased you. God, God will bring a man from Karamoja who wed you. Now why are you laughing? And there are people in Karamoja and they there. The leaders who are filled with the spirit of God and they have money. They are there. Jebali. Hmm? And you have a dinka child. But for real. Of course, that today is Thursday, Friday. When is it over Tuesday? On either Tuesday or Wednesday. Kampala Road. King Fahad. Around King Fahad Plaza. I was getting out of King Fahad. And I met a girl, a young girl. A dinka girl. And she was tall. I feared her, but I would have taken a picture of her. I slowed down and I first. But the truth is. <laughs> That is how far I could reach her. And she was showing that she was growing taller and taller. She was yet to grow taller and taller. You people have never really traveled ah, and some but talk. But that girl. Hey. 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 Since the Nepanka. And tell the one who you should hey. be hey. Hey. And I say that she belongs to me. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I'm a pygmy at theirs. People can really grow tall. Plantation has been planted in the house. The one that driving a benz. building But we don't struggle as much as this one. What hurts him is the pipes that they put the glass him and affect him. They don't affect us, they just stop on the glass. Amen. Amen. That is why they call us witches. If someone has gold, it is very hard for them not to call you. A witch. Know they've ever bewitched you but failed at it. There's a, a brother Bambi sister who was killed. That's what I was Report told. The man that I was told. On Sunday, I even told him, you mean you walk by yourself? He died. I asked today, what did he die of? On examining the corpse, it, he died of, of uh, poison. Be careful of whatever you eat. Now one, one person started up and it's alleged that that someone bewitched him and failed. We rendered it part. You will not leave. Let me just poison you. They would often sit there, yeah, and often sit there with that daughter. As I was preaching, that's the thing. So I saw Amba. him stand and walk. And I'm like, God is really mighty. He had left that stage already. And the enemy said, You will not leave. Even if he died. But I bless the Lord that his, the enemy's witchcraft fell to kill him. These in house gardens are, are surrounded by glass. No, you stay. Which village do you stay? Chichi? Chizingiza. What do you want to get? 
Chiba mukure. Chikuba mutwe, where is Chiba mutwe? He's staying in Chiba mutwe. Oye musana. You're there crying of the heat. Na makora ga good day. Even the the little. Na ye onari mu nyumba. But this one who is inside the house. Who ko gamba? Amurisa. It's flourishing. Kwa taku mutwe. Agora chi? He's flourishing. Amurisa flourishing amu nyumba ya katonda. Flourishing the house of God. The people these ends are weighing him down Kuno. with all this heat. No, it's a lie. We are seeing the, the flowers. But no, it is not the glass. We are inside the glass house. The heat doesn't affect us directly. And the man who made this house pipe installed pipes that water. Put it down yourself. Praise the Lord. Who has understood that? Such plantations are planned for. They invest money in them. That is why the man died. And he planned for those plantations. 2022 years ago. He died. And he first made this house called South and install those watering pipes there's a brother who prays from here they once came to mine and made for me a garden during the lockdown but we didn't utilize it but recently I called them again and they came back and made for me that I did it very well and put a net over it I want to plant vegetables vegetables now they came back and worked And I think Mr. Sensanga is also good at that. Kati, uh -huh. You open up the source Buri, of water. Everywhere the, uh, uh, the seed is, there's water that waters it. When, when they were making the garden, I was not there, but the other evening I was there to watch. There's water that I Ask them rather to bring carrots, um, green pepper. Green pepper. We understand such. Maybe And those other things. The celery. It's not so big. It is that big. Yeah. 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 There are those little pipes. He's the one who planted that for me. Now there's water that's sprinkled upon the seedlings. So you just open up the source of water. The upper tank. And water the water is water plants. And such plantations. They're not like these ones. Uh -uh. No. These ones have a glass. They receive light, but they're not affected. By light. But these ones. The poor plants. Plant, even if they're irrigated. But the heat scorches them. It scorches them. There's a little difference. So just because they have a source of water for irrigation. Even the, the, the hailstorms can come and hit them and they die. But this one. That is planted in the house of God. Ladies and gentlemen. Jesus. 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 You can leave it like that. That's so good. I'm sitting here with Bomb. He's a soldier from Bombo. Ah, you PDF. A PDF soldier. You can stand the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Praise the Lord. You watch him. We're not going to let you let a combat. I need to fight. 
Never mind. It's good also dressed like a civilian. <laughs> but you can't be the way you're so hard in <laughs> something else. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Jesus made his house in the Old Testament. Noah's ark was likened to salvation. It was an image of salvation. That just like the Noahs entered the ark and the people outside the ark got problems and died. That is how it's also like that a person who enters Christ will have gotten protection. will have gotten protection. The problems that affect people in the world don't affect them. Now that is why I tell you you, that we who are planted in the house of God we have several opportunities. Never admire people out here. The people who are in the world by the time they achieve whatever they do they'll have struggled a little. But we who are in the house of God was planned for very well in even if you're not working there is a meal for There's a way you get food. Amen. Amen. If only God could help us. And we get the spirit of touring. And, and we, we pray it comes back. I once took people to Entebbe. People from church. Dr. Naluima do you remember Dr. Naluima? Tulambula. So we toured. From Dr. Naluima's, where did we go? How many of you went for that tour? Where did we go to after? Where did we have lunch from? COVID ya kume mwami COVID has really He doesn't remember a thing. We thank God for taking a And He raised everything from our heads. But what I remember, after Dr. Naluima, I wonder where we went. What time did we have lunch from? In a hotel, Jibaitani. Imperial Resort Beach Hotel. Imperial Royal Resort Beach Hotel. Wanji? You said it was but Imperial Resort Beach you. Hotel. How many of you went there? Oh, Is it that time? Musume chwamba wariko. Kuruwa na ruimba te wariko. Ani agena nange kuruwa na ruimba. Ngamwaribanji. Dokas. We quite a number. Tuwa tuwa na bus meka. How many buses did we go with? Did not work in the bus in bus here guys high school. Who team build? Did not work in the guys. Is that when we went to the guys high school bus? Maybe we interested in becoming a. But why don't you re re? Why don't we release those things? Who wants that? Now I'm here. Oh, but at least get some time and. Hey, no, Uganda tell you how to have a visa. This Uganda, why you don't have to first ask for a visa? Why don't we tour? Zero. How much you have got, man? You have got zero. Stay zero. Zero. Ivan Woj. Ivan Woj. Why don't you help us when we have to tour? How can this year end without us going anywhere? Because I remember there's a time that we went after the tour. We said, no way. Great people also have to have a meeting in this hotel. And we also entered like delegates. They had already waited for us. And we enjoyed our food. You would finish what you have and go back hey, and serve yourself. Is there anything evil about that? 
I don't know whether I don't like this thing. We have to get them as born again. We to Dr. Naluima. We were taken around. I saw fish that was rare in polythene. They put water in the and start rearing fish. Which place would you want to go and tour? What? And by the way, we went to the zoo. Now, when we say that we are going to tour along in Tebe Road, everyone has to contribute a, a certain amount of money for their meal. That is how people end up not asking. By telling your neighbor, enjoying money doesn't mean consuming your money. Tell them again. You invest some money in yourself. And we hire a bus. Even if there are three buses. And it's not nice if everyone is driving that It's nice if we... That is why I wanted to go with around 50 people to Dubai or 100. Hmm? One. Do not you get lost from there? Don't you get lost from there? It is like 100 people. We all bought the same plane. It sets off and we also set it. It ascends and we also ascend. Wait, you must have fun. Who says they want it? I want it. Go to the place where you want to eat. I want it. Go to the place where you want to eat. I want it. Do you know that food is very tasty when you're 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 quite a number? All we're talking about is ginger. There's a time we travel to ginger. And we wanted to visit the source of the Nile. We reached there. There's a place that we had our lunch from after eating. We went to Jagari. We went there. I cannot really show you the way there, but at least I've ever been there. But born again, why do you only come? We have to tour the world. Who says we should give it a shot this year? Should do it in November. December. In December. Eh? Ha. Ne abantu amte magala kuvaka sawo. But some of you don't want to to invest money in yourselves. That is the problem. No. Walwe chela chena tuala chena bagamba. There is something else that I once told you. Walwe 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 akafu wakati kachia kura kariyao. There's a place. Kariyao naguru. It's around naguru. Akafu ka jebali deni ya mabachi tan. What is that place? Where the barbecues. Is carnival still there? Oh, it's no longer trending. I wanted to take people to carnival. And some people say, yes, we are going to contribute money. We wanted to go to carnival around 100 people. Eh? You see, because people brag that they're good at eating meat. I wanted that, but you, you people hindered me. In that time, we had to each contribute 50,000 shillings. It must have been 50,000. But still, people didn't turn up. Things of, of so many people. They want half of the group to pay and others go free. That's it. Not so. It is people that stop us from having things. They register first. But they want to come last in paying. Free things stop you from having fun. If you want such programs. What does it take to go to Kases? Who has ever been there? And who wants to go there? Who said that? Now let me tell you. 
Bwoba tusubula kukiriza katonda kufuna sende zikutwalaka sese. You can't believe God to get money to Chinegeza ne faith. No kangambe bwende. Let me say this. Faith e kutwala e kulete sa school fees zo mwana wo. The faith that causes you to get your Ye faith ye mwere ta sende zigenda out. Is the same faith that will bring you money that will take you out. Na chino kancho gere bwende. Let me also tell you this. Mugure vebi ntu. In heaven where all. Mwaba nga walu wa mairo chikumi. If there are a hundred miles. Malai karete mitwa. The angel that brings a hundred thousand million travels the same distance as the one who brings a million shillings. Do you understand? Start envisioning big things. Some people have a, 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 an ideology that big things take long. But I'm telling you the truth. This is the truth. If they, they are a thousand miles to heaven, and the angels that bring us those heavenly products travel the angel that brings a hundred miles moves a, a hundred miles and the angel who brings a million shillings travels why miles. do you disturb the angel to carry a hundred thousand and they go all that journey. You load him with, a, with 40 m Let him go through that distance, but when they brought something big at least. Now, if you cannot believe God to give you money to send the out, please don't think about money for your wedding. Some people, it is our perception that really I want you to that God can pay school fees for your child. If you want to understand this, change the way you see things. When God is supplying, He supplies according to what He has, not according to what you have. And that is God. He's a rich guy. He has everything. Philippians 19. For, sorry, 419. Read it. Maybe this one can change the way you see things. Mm. Philippians 419 says, mm. And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So And my God shall supply all your need okay. mm -hmm. and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus and my God, my God. shall supply all your need According to his breaches in glory by Christ Jesus. And my God, and my God shall supply. First, I fill in five things. Fill in five things. School fees. Rent. Rent. Money for the saving. Jews are wow. Shall gaps. supply what? All your needs. According to his riches. If you have according, according, according. You you underline that word according. Anyone who has never understood that scripture, I pray that God will help you and you understand. By underlining that word according, God supplies according to His riches. When you come here to pray, it means you're in luck. You don't um, know. If someone is in luck, if they ask for something, they don't expect to give themselves. They want you to give them 
That is the reason why we pray. If you don't have, you first believe that God has. And if He has, He's going to supply according to what He has. Not according to what you have. If you usually hear me say that this, your God, my God, shall supply all your needs according to his riches. Many times I tell you, not according to what you earn, not according to what you have. At times God uses another avenue and doesn't use the avenue. He supplies according to what he has. Not according to what you have. If you have matoke, why do you ask God to give you matoke? Praise the Lord. My Lord supplies according to what he has. His riches. God is rich. If you want to believe God today, believe Him. Believe Him. He will supply. Even if you are poor, He has something. Even if you don't have parents, He can still supply. Because He supplies according to what He has. Not because you have parents. Not because you have rich people around you. Not because you are known you have contacts. God supplies according to what he has. That's why we have hope. We walk in hope. Hello. We walk in hope. Because even if I don't have, God has. And because He has, He uses people. And He might not even use my family members. God can move someone. God can move someone your way. God. He can bring you some God. God is able. How many of you are one switches so you can help me out? Raise your hand. You're saved. I'm not saying that you're witches. Okay, I once had that someone can blow a pie for someone so they can bear a scale. Because they went somewhere and they bring themselves back and they bring themselves back not in their own understanding it's alleged that the spell drives them before you know it they've branched off at home who has ever had such stories Nigerian movies but Nigerian doesn't mean that they are liars if a Nigerian witch can send a spell and it drives someone from wherever they were to a place where they want them to be can't God send an angel and bring someone it holds it with their feet not touching the ground kusulira. and puts them before you and they give you a job God is bigger than witches is than God is greater than the pipes Ugandans understand this God is greater than the pipes ask me about it Makolo would still be here. But when the church was started this place, I said Makolo, Pascal, Sentumbu, and the rest, and even that forest, I was told that there was a drum that would play by itself in that forest. If God lives, I shall not serve here while they also serve. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. We used to pray here. There's a time I found chicken legs 
with a head that were buried Saturday chiro. It was Saturday at night. We to chamira walu aka gate gate akembwa. Where we branch off from the wazi. Get of and it would never shut, never close. Amen. Amen. We found when they had put around five kgs in banana leaves. There was a man called Dero, so he collected everything he put. But I told him, you, you, you come and I pray for you so you're not affected. And I was like, people really have time. How can you collect five kgs? How many days have you collected that? Kanisa. So you can shut the, the, the church. This power in prayer. Katonda. God is powerful. More powerful than the Chinese. More powerful than the Nigerian. Nation. If God was not by my side, that phantom would have strangled me. If God were not for me, Pascal's shrine that I burned, I would be having something there. And some of my toes would have broken over And I would tell you that I'm the survivor. I'm the survivor. The, the demons burnt me but I still but there is there is fire in the blood of Jesus don't tell me let your heads but we shall send on their heads in the name of Jesus there is power in prayer God is able to supply your school fees without you contributing a coin. Ask Mama Mlunji. She will tell you. God is able to move someone. One who was moving to Masaka and diverts them and they end up in Bamba. Not knowing why they are even there. They, they will come and tell us. 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 The testimony is never. Aba, aba it's the people that uh, the people that have never heard. How many of you have ever heard of her? Testimony? How many of you have never heard of her testimony? You're the majority. Tell us. Because today I would like to pray. For God to repeat it. I want God to touch some people. I don't know whether he holds it very When God touches you, don't harden. How come you're not being lifted? When God touches you, don't disappear. Bless your things on the chair. It's taking you to Nakanaku. It takes you. It takes you. Boom. You carry her. He's given you a child. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, we have Praise Jesus. I thank God for his grace. I thank God for the grace in this place of educating children. I came to this place when I was just what is that? Please allow. Please When the demanding man is when the demanding man is when the Please allow. Go and declare. HM. Please allow my daughter. Please allow my son. How many of you do? Do not note. Those Please allow. I'm not sure. So now on to the My daughter was in form six. Na ye, we are again damu elevo. When she was joining elevo, nalinja gara branching. I wanted her to branch off. Kubanga nalisi sovola, nalinchi rabanga si jaku sovola ba na vuna kubanga ni na varala. I have other children, so I couldn't handle the school fees for. Ne tuja mu counseling, tuja tu gambe kama So we came for counseling to tell pastor about it. Atu kwetu watu kwa namu counseling, ni ngamba msumba kwa nze msumba, mwalala wanga again da kubranchinga. When we came here, I told pastor my daughter is going to branch off from form four. Ni mbuli na songa zange kubanga nali. I gave him my reasons because I had other children. He answered me very well. And he asked me, do they branch off from form four? 
And she told her to go and study that we would get money. So she went and registered. Now in getting to form 6. That year was not good on my side. I didn't get any single money. First term. The first term. She finished first term without me paying a coin. Second term. Second term came. I failed to get the money. But I was so amazed that the grace of God, He hid my children. They used to send children back home. And she would tell me that they would reach where she was. And the bassa would ask her how she was doing. And she would say, the bassa would ask her how she was doing. And they would send back those ones who are at the date of a hundred thousand, but they would not send them back. We got on to the third term. We got on to the third term. I got some little money and I paid it. And they, they still demanded me 800,000 shillings. Now during the briefing, it was a Friday. That is when they got to know that they had a default of school fees. And they were very bitter. And they said that she was not going to sit for a exam. Remember it was a Friday. And they were going to start their UNEB exams on Monday. They called me. And told me that you get to the UNEB From the UNEB offices, your child is not going to sit for the exam. I didn't even have 8,000 shillings of the 800,000. They called me and I told them that I was going to head to the school. I was going empty handed as I was ready to go tell them that you know what? I don't have any at all. I just asked for exams or maybe you will demand money from me. I didn't even know what I was going to do. I took a shower and I prepared myself. While I was getting out of the house, I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. And I saw a car branch move to mine. While I was still talking to them, I received a call. So I first left where they were and I didn't want to even narrate my problems to them. So I went to the corridor to receive the call. And I told them my feelings. I am going to settle all Murungi's issues. So, one of the visitors had followed me to the corridor. And the visitor asked me, Here you talk about the HM, what is that? I told them, I am going to go to the HM, I am going to go to the HM, I am going to go to the HM, I am going to go to the HM. I was not even explaining everything. I was not even explaining everything. Since she's at school. I thought she was a candidate. She I ended up telling them the story that she's going to be But I So they want me to settle that debt. And this person said, How much money is it that they're demanding of you? They told them, and they're like, how much is it? And I told them it's 800,000 shillings. And they held me by the hand. And took me to where they had parked the car. And they counted 900,000 shillings. It's as if this person knew that I had to tithe off that. Money. But what amazed me the most is after giving me that money, and it's as if we even find those people. 
So like this we are traveling to Naye gwenjo gera kwa sura bulenga. The person that I'm talking about. Ya kwa bulenga agenda mitiana. They left bulenga for mitiana. Ogenda okuzika. For the barrier. Tinaye gwe bali bagende mitiana. They were to mitiana. Abo ne balabe duke ritunda busola. They saw a shop that sold solar panels. Kati we yali yajja kwe wange ngate twina masanyalaze. They had once come to mind when we didn't have electricity. Abo nala muzaka sola. So when they asked for the price. Abo nabaka mugamba sente ntono. It was a cheap. Abo nagula kasola katulete. So they bought the solar system so they could. Kati bane ndeba mugamba ntugende tuzike mitiana. The friends were like let's go and bury. Tumale tukomeo. Then afterwards we come. Naba gamba. Ah. I like no way. Tusoke tutuale kasola. Let's first take this solar system. Nebaja. Kati atibali ndebaje bamba bamba chiri ruddawa bamba chiri wanu munanga bo bamba is a place here na eche ruddawa bamba bulenga chiri ruddawa bulenga ri kumitiana road is still on mitiana road Ata nabo bali bagenda mitiana kuzika. We are also going to mitiana for burial. We gamba ngache unyisa nalyo kana ogoka bwati. Kati ate ne mpulira ngagamba mune tino byemba denge ndo okololoza tencha abikoze. Do you think I'm still going to do what I see na mo wa dech 10 na chi Zonanga zimpade. Soko kubiri sumunga. Kena we chole. You can go and have your seat. If God can divert someone, who is going to mitiana? Again the mitiana. Naja atembu de wenyini. And they come at that particular time. Nesi mune kubiri wambu de wenyini. And you receive a phone a phone call at that particular time. We serve a mighty God. Tuwe na zaka tuwe na waman. Echongo chete de bali. That aside. For a student to go through an entire year when they, no one can notice that they've not paid school fees, the angel of the Lord had covered her. But you who, is, who has uh, serving groups, you hear this. They can hide you. God can hide you. But you don't hide because you don't want to pay. Now listen to what happened to her. By the time they discovered that the daughter had not paid for all that loan, that time when things became worse, is that time when God was coming through for her. Many times I tell you that it is always darker before dawn. You might have been in the night. But when you see things becoming worse, don't give up because it's then about to dawn. By the time they discovered that she hadn't paid this whole time, the miracle was already on its way. And when the miracle came, it came at the perfect time. If God needs to divert someone and they end up coming to Kasangati, and it's as if they're not being calculated, they've left them in the living room, but they end up following this one to the corridor. God has his ways of doing things. Let's stand and pray. 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 Let's stand and to live all your ways. Throw all your ways. Throw, throw, throw. Sorry. Sura, sura, sura. Throw away all your ways. Discard them completely. Because they've not worked for you. I want you to trust God to use His ways to supply all your needs this weekend. Weekend, weekend. I know God can. He's able. Ainza. Katonda solo kosa makuboge. God can use His ways. Isaiah Gamba. Isaiah says. Amakuboga masige makuboga. My ways are not your ways. And neither are your thoughts my thoughts. We have thoughts. You plan. That is you. But when you come to God, He can choose to use His ways or your ways. But many times He uses His ways. Remember what I asked a certain lady here. I asked her how many avenues of money she had in her life. And she told me, 
only two. And the first one, wange. her husband. Eri the second one was wange. her job. And I told her, those are your ways. Now when you come and ask God for money, he can use his avenues without using your husband and not using your job. But he uses his own ways. And you still get the money. Trust the Lord. Mm. Change your perception. Whether you lost your mom or your father, that doesn't refuse God for to work for you. Your father, your husband, if they are closed, God uses other ways. There's a man who was dumped in the last day. All the ways to get to him was But when he prayed to God, God had to use him. It was the only authority that was there. And he came out of the lion's den. God can use any way. God can use any channel. Trust the Lord up to the end. You have to be with the great, big trust. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Trust the Lord that that lion cannot devour you. That death will not kill you. That sickness will not kill you. Trust the Lord with all your heart. He will not forsake you. He shall not forsake you. The lion shall not devour you. Close your eyes. And believe that the lion shall not devour you. And also I would like you to say that God can even save you at the last hour. There's a man who is a member of this church. I'm not seeing him around. I would have testified about him. He made a wedding. He looked for money until Wednesday when the wedding was on Saturday. On seeing him, he had come for counseling so I could pray for him. It's the two of them that came. And they are very pale. <laughs> and you'd not think that it was the groom and the best man. To <laughs> <be> on <laughs> <Instagram>. <laughs> One thing that really made me laugh <laughs> <about his wedding, laughs> the man that he came <laughs> with, I didn't know that he was his best man. And he told me, Pastor, everything has failed. We failed to get money. We are left with two days. Thursday and Friday. And we can no longer cancel the wedding. The meetings have disappointed us. I'll never forget. I prayed to God. And God heard me. Get to I told them Thursday and Friday. Are the two days in which I want to see you to see God. I attended the wedding but they told me they didn't have any debts. Now in my heart I was like. Just because I was involved. But was entirely involved, I would have said you people are lying. Maybe you had money that you had hidden. But I saw them. And I even saw how they looked. They looked like. And I saw that they were limited. But God drew them out. Aren't you to tell your neighbor? Even at the last hour. God says. And to also tell them. That if they have not chased you out. Before you are arrested. God still has your salvation. God will help you. I don't know. I also just pray. Because I also don't know God's ways. If I tell you that I'll find you at the Constitutional Square and you know that I stay in Gayaza, why do you always do you, do you only fix your eyes on Bombo Road? Do you know how, which route I'm going to use? I could use whichever direction I choose to and I come through Ginger Road. Maybe I already went in for my own business and I come through by Entebbe Road. The most important thing is for you to see me there. But your eyes are fixed in one direction. And if 
and you say have you got any anything anything? the people from the savings group uh-uh. are on my case the people in the savings group have nothing to do apart from you. they have to demand for their money but the source of the money trust the Lord he knows how to go about it even if he has not yet done it the lion that he is throwing he will send his angel who will shut its mouth until you help until the king has come and sends you to be drawn out of the place the lion shall not divide you I advise you don't look into it you will fear it's very wise for you to ignore it the moment you look at that land you develop fear fear the Bible says whatever you feared shall come to you. Fear invites failure. Fear kills faith. The two F's cannot sit in one place. Never look at the bigness of your problem. Look at the bigness of your God and what he can do. Through testimonies God shows us his bigness. I remember Stella there's something that happened to the mother. There's a debt that, ma- that the Stella mother had. Stella had come and give us that testimony. Yeah, I don't have testimonies. Rather, I don't tie for st- testimonies. How many of you have big testimonies? Testimony that has a, what testimony do you have? Testimony I have happened this year. Neighbor, yagaza kutoa leta kari ya fe. Dadi na simba senge gemchefe chuna leta police ne msiwa. Daddy had been arrested and, and they refused to give him bail. And they couldn't even allow us to go to But there's a member of the state house. That come and, they and they hid him mm. while he was when my younger son was St. Henry's. Mm. We were going to be to study. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they were going to be to Mama Tako, we didn't give enough money. Mama was jobless and they had a lot of money. It was a thousand. It was a thousand. And we would never get money. And we would never get money. We would sleep in one bedroom with the mother. And we would never get money. And we would sleep in one bedroom with the mother. And we would never get money. 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 Motoka tenga siba siri kare. Kamba ngamba mama, wabwe ruari yem motoka na yangu wa yari etonya. Kumbi motoka yari wabwe ruari ba lete demu ganda wange school fees. Amina. Era tamu enoteba mugobiye po. Era musubi doksu mobuli. He's not going to pay school fees. I'm expecting to perform well. God will work for you. Thank you so much. Owangi. Hadi. Stella, good evening. Stella, CBT. Praise God, Church. Praise Jesus. Yes, you are. Never Zakaton, the Ram after Galim Chino. for the anointing in this place. The Mammy Wanga of Na accident. My mom got an accident. I think it was 2016. It was a Ah, uh, yali ya kolera Fort Porto. She used to work from Fort Porto. Yali na company ngaba kolera miara. She had a company that would make trenches. Weba mazoko la collars, then e jam miara. After Wabachi making kola. the 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 tarmac roads, they would work on the trenches. So mami wange yali ya va Fort Porto ngaba koma wo so Kampala ngaba mazomo limu. From Fort Porto to Kampala after the work was done. Naba kozibe bonna. And all the workers. Katiba ina moto kanga ba jiti sebi intu ya webe ba ba deba kozesa. So they had a car. Material ya sigad. That they had packed with the, 
tools and the remaining material. Nae mami weyali agendo kolo muli mugwe forti ya tuwala loan from Centenary Bank. But when she was going for that job in, in Fort Porto, she took a loan from Centenary because Bank. Because she didn't have enough capital to do the job. Kubanga ita ina capital amala kula mwini. Kati weyali a tuwala loan ya singa ye nyumba ya fe. Now when she was taking the loan, she put in our house as security. Na tuwale ndagano. She took the agreement. And she got a loan so she could go and do the job. So when they were traveling back, they got an accident. The car overturned. Some people died immediately. My mom's back was broken. Nagendo mutu kako in Fort it was bad. By the time I got to her in Fort Porto Charlie Chibi. Gata tasa na recognizing a month yeah. She couldn't even recognize anyone. Netumu jane tumu take mulago. We brought her from there to Mulago. Atenga by then nange na li very financially down. Nali si 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 kola si di bulungi mbien sim. Katinga ni na my siblings. Ni na baganda wange. Jaja wange ali mura denga ali waka. My grandparent was nange ni no mwa na wange. And I also had a atenga ni na naba na wange mu kama beyanga tako so it was quite overwhelming the responsibilities inyenji ngabana ba ino soma tenga tu ino concentrate nga kujia njaba mami the hospital bills were really so high hospital bills zali zili wakulu nyo ngane unyane mkama wanga bili lakubanga nze ya jia njaba mami the way God was supplying for me because I was taking care of the bills naba jamduwa yotua waba anti wafazea kuyamba kona naba tuwa waba muskani nagamba even uh, the people who would come to help us we would ask you for the money you like no that's a little bit but God would supply because I used to pray from my mother and I would pray from this place but time came when mommy was about to pass away the money was about to pass away the money was about to pass away the money was about to pass away before mom's healing the money was about to pass away there was a lot of interest that was accumulating it accumulated from 30 million to 70 million it was about to pass away the money was about to pass away it was a lot of money I'd never had of it because I'd never held 5 or 10 M I had to finance the loan once my mother took the children to school Ruali dumu mo evening service, mo counseling. One day during a counseling session. Netu yata mami wange ne sister wange. And my sister brought my mother. Mama ngai yali tata ambula. Katumu kwa tidi da kwa tidi. Could not work on her own. Would just support her. So when we brought her to our mother's side, we brought her to our mother's side. We made her lie over there. Then me, I stayed. At the back, for some reason, it's such young. Ngap Papa genda sabida mami. Zenen sigale mabega. I didn't turn up when Pastor was going to pray for me. So namu tuno dida te am sabida. He didn't even pray for her. Namu tuno dina na tuno ya sister wang. He looked at her and looked at me. Na tuno ya sister wang na tuno dida mami. He looked at my sister. In fact, mam ya soka kutuno ya mami eka na buzono ya zeyeka. And first asked. Then my sister came. Na abaga na tubuza. Tell him ulala sigade omaze moeka. Did you come back? So I also came in still. Katiba na ba bidi na ba va kona sabida. He took his eyes off these two. Nanga mbuka magenda kuga gawaza. And he told me that Lord is going to give you money. Mbuka magenda kuwa sente. God is going to give you money. Na ite we la bidi anga baganda. But never forget your siblings. Gendo kuva norwa lero bula mubo buchuse. Go from today, your life has changed. That is the prayer he prayed for me. Yes, sir. He didn't even pray for my mom. Ne mama angeti amu sabida. Ne tudaye waka. So we went back home. Na ina tuga mama mitu yonge romule. But he told us to continue bringing him home. And mommy really, really cares. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you for 30 minutes. And then someone stared at you
to whom they were going to sell the Mama house. Mama afuna pressure na nkubile sim. My mom got a pressure na ngambe nyumba me. bajituwala. And told me the house is going Aba to be sold. Aba saja baze wane nyumba My bama zo jira ambula. I've already taken a tour of the Zeba house. Zeba na ingenda kudayo ku street. I'm going to go back to the street. Kati ache na nge stress nene yongida. And my stress even increased. Nenzi jam service. I came for the service. Nengamba papa era na jam oh, counseling echido. I still came for counseling. Nengamba yes. papa nyumba ya mama ange bajitwala. I told pastor that many months was going million to be in Sam. Because we have a debt of 70M. Nambuza sente meka. And he asked me again how much money is it. 70 million. Nengamba million in Sam. Nengamba genda mkama azisasudi. Go the Lord has paid that money. Amazima. Nali I was heartbroken in gandi. Nine bizibu. Nampuri na neta gasale. Eye mpambe nzikakanya. I need a long. I need a long. A long that would but come Papa just told me again that Mukama Jisasud. Name was Mayanga Babgambi. You go, the Lord has paid. Then I never was Mukama over again that Jisasud. I was wondering what Tunula, to know. Tunula, Tunula, Munebe, to add it to to know the Munga to Gambo, and to a fine up with Saint. Even the people that were looking, never jam do I or Tasa acquire them to add it. But who never even give you to the Nebus as a Zinem seventy M's again. That's like what we're going to get is no million. So one morning, by then I was still at campus, and I didn't take a Kagenda Kusso. I was organizing myself to go to the loans office. I'm going to Francis now. Kubida, the loans office are called Francis. Call now. I'm going to tell her how are you? I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. And that's like a person. I want you to just relax and concentrate. Kukuja and Jabba Murade. And Jagalo Terere would say when you're nursing the patient. Loni ya mwaba insurance. Vajisa Sudi. Because the insurance company has set a good loan. Nainga mazima matufu. The truth is. Fewafe we've never insured. Anything. Tete tu gingi danga koko mu insurance ya chini. Mama ngeta ina mukazwa tu taina cha ya insurance. Mama had never insured anything. Nange sidi na nakolera kwa U A P ne ne goba ngera sina cha insurance. U A P but had never insured anything. Nai ne wu ne wu nyakatonda. But I saw amazing. Sada mu bibuzo sada mu kubuza chini tu chona. I didn't ask for anything. Eda nenda gano ya fene ba jitu wa. And they gave us our agreement. Tiba nete ndo tu bidu. Hallelujah. That is a miracle. So kodi neko. Chama gero first wait. Waka. Do you become rich or not yet? Manang. Zekatonda mweunya. I'm amazed at God. Na ina ba ntu abalalabe unya katonda kurangi. But even other people want wonder at God because of me. Zabanda ba we na jida wana. The people who saw me by the time I came here. I dinga tola wali. I used to sit over there. I came here with nothing to my name. Maybe the rental that I used to sleep in in Gayaza. On whose houses? Mzee Kataza. Mzee Kataza. That is where I used to rent. Did it have a bathroom? Tu ali tu chita ambuli la. Tu ali tu chigaba na neva neiba. Used to share it with the neighbors. Enanzo lomonga na vila mnyumba yangu. Times I would share from my house. Fuluma. Tu ali lomonga ndi mnyumba yangu. Na dina bebinga ayon ayonka. I had a nursing child. Ngaba kazi bali au kumli yangu guangu ba tu deva angi ya. And was seated and waiting. Waga mboyo mkampa sata yonsa. That campa sata yonsa. Chokanga batu deka bala zaka. But was seated on my veranda. Ne mfulumo kuyuwa ya maz. I got out to pour water. Ne mbaga mba nyabu nsa ba itako. And I asked him to excuse me. Ove datu wa gamba mwadi inga me mga mba tali. I tell you that she's inside and we claim that she's not. So, ula mobo, we nali mbela mobo mzigo. But God has been faithful. Katunda bade mwensi gwa. Eda miraculous li nafune taka ngandi mchifo chino. I got land in this place. We namalo fune taka. After getting land. Walo pastor ya ve mbarara. There's a pastor who came from Barara. Wame ita bishop over Nathan. He's called bishop Nathan. Na jana atugamba tuzimbide mkama kanisa. He came here and told us to build God a church. Na atugamba bulimuntaso kwa ya mituwa la abili janguwa. Told us anyone who can give in 200,000 shillings. Kwa account ya ngendoza na ina ke mituwa longa abili mkasamvu. 
I think I had 207,000 on my account. Na tugamba na ewo boge ndo kwa yezo sente. Gamba mkama mkuzimbi dena nge nzimbira. He told us, if you're going to give him that money, tell God I'll build for you, please build for me as well. Nenzi jane mpayo, mitology anga abidi mubulumi. I came and gave him my 200,000. Kubaje na lina ku account. Omanyo beda yu ni kari ya kasente ku kaseevi. Because that is the only money that I had on my account. Kwa sivido ruuzi. Nenka wayo. So I gave it in. When I came away, when I die, I walk. And I gave it in when I went back home. Nenkola plan ya nyumba jenga gala. Made a house plan. Nenkola research ku material. Nenkola budget. And I made research on the material. Nenga kachia chera nzira yomanje. And I was like, this is the time for me to go back and. Nenzi jana wintu yangu wano mchaji era mukansoling. During counseling. Nenga mbapa papa nzira gala kuzimba. I want to build. Nemwa na bitunolam. I gave him my. Na tunoni da budget sent. He looked at the budget and said, I didn't take off phases from foundation in the foundation and the foundation up to the roofing stage. Who are you going to speak to? By the way, I was so tiny and I looked like a very small girl. I was a small girl with a lot of responsibilities. Who are you going to be sharing this house? You told me go you go you to the house. I don't even know where the money is going to come from. God built for me a house in five months. Nenga nange sola kugamba because I had the same job nga funa two hundred dollars inga teguchuse nga ubuna nziwa wange teguchuse ne mukama nanzi mbire nyumba ne tuji yengida nyumba yange yali kufuti abidi muta no kwa na musatu was on twenty five but we were managing anyways and we were grateful that we were not paying rent so so I continued praying and believing God and I would fellowship you people don't get tired of coming to church at times we come to church and we hear people but every time I would hear someone say I thank you Mr. Mbiru who used to say that they would go to church and by the time you gave that testimony I also used to do that same thing at times we would board a taxi up to the church we go with that car, we go with that car, we go with that car, we go with that one. By the times I would not even have one to support my body. And we would food up to the church. So when I would hear that people like him, 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 I would hear that so I continued praying. And I would keep praying. There's a place to sleep in. There's a place to sleep in. There's a lot of people to sleep in. And I love Uncle Junior so much. 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 Because it was always tough. And I love Uncle Junior so much. And I love Uncle Junior so much. And I love Uncle Junior so much. When the carpets are done, but he would get us best to sleep. And I love Uncle Junior so much. That they would come and my life would change. So it was 2019 in January. Kumi na muenda mu January. Papa na mpa prophecy. And pastor gave me a prophecy. Na ngambo genda funa campaign. And told me how I was going to get a campaign. Ogenda kujikolela. And I was going to work for it. Ogenda funa sente njio gurene moto. And I was going to get a lot of money. Simanyo ba wadiwe yali wonga bampo buna biyo. I don't know who was here when I was receiving that prophecy. It was three years back. Miyake sato imamika. Wana ina wili anga nchamu se mutima. I was very very excited. Nenga nebu za. Kampani, motoka, kale nganzi kiliza ndi mulo kole nganzi kiliza katonda, jaku bide eta na ye non so soni. Na inga simbu angu. Kubanga nze, ebye visela binafuni robu obu nabi. That time when I got that perfect. I was going through the hardest time time in my life. That is the time my family had abandoned me. I was bankrupt. 
nganemere mu nyumba tu struggling i would struggle to get a meal at home ngane kabanya kebita no sobola kagula i would not even afford a ban of 500 shillings and this is the time papa prophesied that i'm going to buy ka tinga che chinisera ka ka tinga we we mpulire chigambo changambye ne compare ya ringa ngasina na subi ya mulimu gonna but compare the situation as going through the prophecy and ngana bantu abali banyamba basili kabane rabia even the people who used to help me had gone silent so after i got that prophecy i went back home in fact era bwali budde bwa chiro nayo fetwa vanga wano nali nsula na mavundu by then nga nyumba antone ziliyo there were few houses in naye nga mbasi na sente za boda kuntu sawaka i didn't have i wouldn't have money for a boda atenga nalinga sisobola ku kutambula agenda wakakubenzikize ebecha kutenga bancha yo so when na took ange gayaza ne funa taxi ya bitano ne nteke na mavundu so i would reach gayaza and get Kat, like a 500 katinga tufune duka one ka baby kange lili ka matala ne tutula kashed kabala za ke duka and sit on the veranda with my ne tulindo obudde ne bucha and would wait for me nembera one muyimbira yimbira ne muzabuza pako obudde bucha ne tukirire wafe i would sing for him until morning and then we'd slope to so uh, that time we twali tuva mu service mukasera ko muni walive era nali yao kabala za nga tudde ne mwana ange tuli yao tulinda obudde buche seated with my baby waiting Na, for morning ne ngula ka data ne ngenda ku facebook ne nkebera nga mama wange my spiritual mom america mpereza message i bought that and i yali amaze banga in acting aya nela bida and found out that my mother who had forgotten about me nambuzo lyo chane mga mamoke she was asking me how is doing you know when you so care over to live fine chichi mga wanti no care you know mga mba te wali apaka reyanke make mga mga mba ne mbela sinu nji kwa bebi wange yali atu denga bana bata niko soma two weeks nga yeta naba kudayo kusomiru my child nga siri na ya deze ya deku miliente kafwa kabalu waka please allow i didn't even have a hundred thousand to give in so that kubango gendo kate kakonga tulisyo inako ka deposit ya katono na inga skalina by the time you ask them to allow your child in at least you have a deposit so milakila sri mama nge nampeleza message nampeleza ya wo dola bitano she sent me five hundred dollars nengule mede nentwa romana kusomero took my child to school so i saw god giving me sustainability nenda bakatonda nga ampani dina nengule mede netu 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 sanyu kamu awo netu liya yoku mkoko netu vela happy had some chicken and were happy So after five months, my friend called me in town. Nambuli da about the company. Jengole la kati. About the company that I work for right now. Woyambuli da ku company e yo. I got excited. Muti manga nambuli danga chamber deninda. I felt like because I was really not working, not doing anything. Na yenga ni no budi zobu neni. But I had a big testimony. And I had a big word on my life. So mkuu nogo ngo yangu mbaka ku company e yo. So when the, my friend told I just felt company. like this is something I've been waiting for. Then I I came to Papa. And I explained everything to him. And I explained everything to him. I saw that in the vision. Yeah, your company jogendo kolera. The company general mukama agenda kusitula. God is going to lift you. So it was a confirmation for me. Wali mukaka kweli. Naenze in the struggle to make money. Naenze mukufukula. So my natani kokola ngandi mwana mutonyi. I started working when i was really young so mbadenga i try everything katinga bichi munchi geza ako so kati when i took a campus i was exposed to network marketing when i reached campus ne ne nfuno kumanya ze na kola scam ngabuli company je bangamba every company that was company ze na ingila nga i could get excited ne ngamba papa the company genda to a center pa platform ngamba abantu mucha this company is going to give us money ngamba yo company no kuba yo tell you he told me that company he would tell me that company is not so i was working with my friends they were muslims nali nkola ne bakwandu bange nga kati ngamba gamba bana imsumba wanga ngambe yo company je tukolera no kuba yo tell you and i told them that my pastor has told me that company is not existing ngamba go yabasumba beso nyi wabasumba baba lokole bala Stay away from those Now what you are going to wear there in the room? Chine chinto inzo tio garment tio chidi. How can you say that it's this thing? But now your company, Bali Bajita LCF. That company was called. Papa we yanga mbateli yoya ita wo two weeks next coming. That it was not real. Ne tu chizula tina ba chai na baringa ba tulimba ba di te ba di. And we discovered that the Chinese were even not there. So I had done a lot of scams and involved my friends. Abantu benadi mani nebe ba di ba mani. Katwali wa abantu banja ba lugendi lam. Katwena 
ingine no company, I didn't have anyone to start with. When I joined this company, I said, I'm going to go to the company. There's no one that had been asked to join us. We network, we network, you have, to join us. There's no one that had been asked to join us. You need people to make money. Wait, I got one told you, Koko, this thing. But I had no one to start with in Uganda. I came and passed a place to me. And I told him that I was traveling to Kenya. And I told him that I was traveling to Kenya. No, my friends who claim that I was traveling to Kenya. So Kakumbuza, did you tell your pastor what did he say? They first asked me, "Wagamia msumba wiyaga." Kubanga baga na neva chigende danti vuli pastor ange chiyanga manganti techiri yonga chifa. Because they noticed that whatever my pastor would say, it would so come this to time pass. they they believed in pastor ange wananga mechi nti chijia kubachi tu. But neva kiliza that whatever he tells me would be right. In fact, one of them yakiliza ne muleta ne papa na msabida ko. Kubo accepted and I brought them. Na inga beba sida muabali na ne sigida. And those staunch Muslims. Inga teba gali la dalaba lokoli. And they really hate me. Na ye bazenga bala bobla mubwangi. But they've been watching my life. So my life never danga ya chama gelo nyo. I've been living a miracle life. Edanga obla mubwangi nze bumpe robu julizi. And my life is a real testimony. So we went to Kenya. So ne tuke nde Kenya. Before we went, Naja Papa not Sabila not blessing. And the journey was blessed. But if we talk about it, anganga yingi da. Whoever would tell about the business. Atemukama na tu yamanti ne tufuna product inga buli as kuzi sa kuzi mukole da. And God helped us, and whichever project products were giving out, they were very effective. Ne tutandi koko la sente mungeli yeye wunyisa. Started making money in an amazing way. After three months working with that company, nengula motoka yange ya soka in my life. Or when Mary Lizzie started to call the company. I bought my first time. Was a space on a jeep parking lot. I parked it up there. I called my friend once. You can already see now. I didn't even know how to drive. We got a friend of mine who did me. And we bought it here for dedication. So when Papa was dedicating it, young man, no yes, so say. This is the first time. You're not going to tarry with it. I almost asked him, Are you okay? Well, you people first call. We need a dalango. We need a mobile phone. Ojagala. Wana bonya bonya mwa miruta moto kaya linka. Dena inga jagala buli kalunja kateke mu. Nendi sam sente ngapuli dan jagala. I could even wake up at night to see if it is where I packed it. Dena inga tinga papa ngamba mbusi genda kujirua munga sivitege la. I couldn't really understand. Nela tewa itawo abanga then in 2020 mkama nampe matuka ya angejeni na it was a brand new. Bidi ya bidi God gave me a brand new car. Yalika namba ebi ebisela wena jifu nila. It was the latest number plate by the time I got it. In this company mkama nkole debi ntubi nji. God has done for me so many things. I think inoza mkama mpada mataka ploti nga munana. God has given me around 8 plots of land. Mkama angazi yize wange waka. When someone came to visit me last time, na mugamba, your guest wing ya mwaba genyi. That guest wing is just for the visitors. Kumanga sina na jisula mbuchanga nzimbe liyao. Walio badeka wongoli ne nyumba teli ya jisula mna ingeli mchiko miracho. With a house in your face. Bane neba za katonda fe tuwa kula bulio mie baka kumone. In fact, nze nalinga nga nine mpise mbinga saga nyobi ya shiari ingeranga neba kama untebe. I had a sharing so I was thinking that. Na inga te mami rasu ze wate na iteba jingo ba mkuba na imu wabali no sula. But the day mami would spend that night at home would send me out of the chair because she would tell me something. Obula mungo wangu kubanga nine nyumba ya angecha magele. So from such a life to own in my own house, such a big miracle. Mukama tako mia onampa farm where the coal is so where the cave is fairly. A land, a farm rather that has banana plants and sour soap. Ni na yo no busora tewa bunda golira. I even have some things and I got a prophecy. Mukama zimbi de kalina. God has built me a story. To maze finishing munda ndoza. Kati tuli mute kamiango. Now we are fixing the I think the next door month we shall be finishing outside. Next month we shall be doing the outside finishing. Come on, Tambuza Mawanga. Do you have, do you have uh, the pictures? Well, you never find it looks like now. Yeah, Kalina, you no, I think I have a few pictures. Now you can see the No problem, no problem. Okay, well, I'm going to. Some people think. Mm -hmm. God has made me travel nations. I have been to several countries now. And above all, God has favored me. I am traveling. 
Omani katin the global director. You know I'm a global director. Okay, my upper rank never could rising, standing end. I could direct, standing end. I could global director. I moved through all those stages. Nenge biyebiti wa biyona bifuni dana da papa nge guente wa nyanya munga katingo ba rank e no nansa bida. It's him that I disturb and I tell him. Papa katingo ba ambassador. I'm busy with two rooms. I'm remaining with ninety thousand shillings to be. Nenge fe okufuna rank e zafetch since zira kusente zobo funye. It depends on the money that you can earn. Katio kubanga mbuza yo. Rankemu. In fact, in Zemu Chala, you come to Uganda, the you're global director. In Uganda, who is a global director? To call an abbasad Yaban, Yabamba, and Mataya, Baman, who are great and they put on the global director, Waba Jabaku Bengal, or never too loud. But when the global director comes, they bow. Nanga, we have a tea, Wabi, and Nambi, who need the one. But I get all those honors from here. When Bantambula, like I've been on my trip, Mbeda, Mukamanta, the catch tea, Wachaman, God has placed a great honor. People welcome me, like I don't know what. Momuto Muzire, you know, Abango Bella, Facebook. The people who follow me on Facebook, you see I meet things. people, abantu abebiti, abama government, abama ni. Na iwe mbanjo gera, everyone when sits speaking, down and listens. Muka mampa dech sana mpo kuganda. God has given me grace and favor. Because of my life, nenge di jenafuna mwe chigamba. I always tell people I got this company in church. In fact, in abam kumikwa no jang, but associates bangi. One of my friends came here to be prayed for. Some of my associates came here. Atenga na balaba. Everyone wants to see you. Wembanga, wembanga endo kogera na bantu. I always talk about God. I talk about my pastor. Nenjogera katonda jansi je. Abantu nebe wunya. But now every time God does us good things. Mukama ne wakfula wa manya tia. Doesn't matter how great God is. Disappear and let God appear. Amen. Te we gulu miza. Don't exalt yourself. Gulu miza katonda. Just exalt yourself. Zeso siku atamzinda lo kusome sawantu wonane sitayogera katonda. I don't get a microphone to teach anyone. So siku atamzinda lo nestayogera kupasta wange. I don't get a microphone to speak and I don't talk about my pastor. Because everything that I am I've got in the same place. Ze katonda amfude someone. Katonda amfude omu. But I came here when I was nothing. Nena janonga sinachi. Naba muku mwa banja gala kati baiden mwalite mundaba. Who love me. Na hivi nitu mukama biya mfude biya biya binta demu limelight. Other things that have been. At all times let us worship God. Amen. Sena biya nabina natu sinze mukama. Ze papa suma nyingeri jenyinza kweba za. I don't even know how I can think. Rakua, all the time I just feel like you deserve everything. Bulichimochi guani. Zolumu mbeda yonga tamla ngambo bali edomu tuwari leyo kachyo bali edomu kole lechi. Nengo mtima guange mpuli danjaga. I feel like I should give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I pray that God will give it to you. I make heads. She must reach that position. And she has it now in Jesus' name. Go and show them the pictures of the house. I praise the Lord. The anointing you respect is the anointing which works for you. On each level she has been disappearing. And it's Jesus, the church, and the pastor. But for you, God is going to give you money. And you make farms. My power, my money. God flees from you there and then. Amen. God is real. I came to tell you. To tell the people that I tell to come and testify that from within, and even the fellow nothing. Even you, who are here. Let's tap into this anointing. God shall make us into something. Our lives shall never remain the same again. I told you I'll bring you people that you usually see here. Everyone that you see in church, take a good 
a keen look at them. Because I'll make them stand up and they testify. And I don't want you to argue, but I want you to tell me, yes, I, thought I saw that person and I know them. There is God in this place. His Highness the King can have so many palaces but he's in a particular palace at a particular time. And then you see that he's in that palace today and that, that is where his guards are. A day will dawn when we will have a day of testimonies because so many people out there who have never given testimonies, yet God has worked with them. But I want you to, to see this. Bishop Nathan. Bishop Nathan. Bishop Nathan. When Bishop Nathan came, by the time he came, she didn't have whatever she's talking about today. Don't you see that she has only spent a few years here? Don't you see it? Bishop Prophet Lamech. Bishop I'm not Nathan. talking about Prophet Lamech, but Bishop Nathan. The one. By the time she, he Give came here, man. she didn't have all those possessions. I'm a the anointing that hastens but things that is in this place, when it falls upon me you, me. two years is even a long time. <laughs> that she is. And later, As in she brought the pictures at you know, our people need to see. People have been lied to. People come to churches and make others clap in vain. I shall just give you confirmation. I'll give you evidence. Because if you were lied to wherever you went, it needs you to go somewhere and you really say, I know that person. But she really went through a lot. God has helped her. If he has helped her, he will help you too. He will help you too. But God has his ways. You might even wake up tomorrow and no, do whatever she does, but you don't get anything out of it. Because God has not favored it. Cling on to the anointing, you people. It shall take you to places you never be expected to get. Hallelujah. Amen. When you're done, you tell me. I want us to pray. But I want you to believe. Where there was nothing God created. It is only man that He molded. Now, you don't need a man. You just need other things. You are existing. Because you need other things. I just have to speak the word of God in your life. Because the Lord spoke the words into existence. I'm just speaking the word. I'm going to speak the word. The word is going to create what you want. Amen. It is only man who was formed by his hands. But all the other things, the monkeys, he just spoke them into existence. The chimpanzees, let there be chimpanzees. Let there be caterpillars. He just spoke everything into existence. Okay. That is the Karina. Your Karina. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> You've even failed to construct a pit nurture. Why don't you humble yourself? You scratch your head from morning to evening. You've set all traps. But three years. I think it's coming to four years. Four years. Three. Come and tell me that I usually say that when you sit under my anointing you can't go past two years without seeing anything. 
Mtu leo chuli. Usually here mimi na mazemu mimi yake isatu. Now she has spent 3 years. Alina makawasula. She has a home in which Alina farm. She has a farm. Alina ebio. She has all that. Alina mbotoka. She has a car. Alina vuna nyizibwa. She has responsibilities. Atambula mawanga. And she travels nations. Urusebintu mbi. Eh? Alina madala. She keeps ascending. Why don't we learn from others? This is not a lie. These things are real. Who got an opportunity to see her before she became Mushiki? You just seen her too. In what year did you see her? Did you ever see her? Where did you see her from? In what year? What year? You only came yesterday. And where did you see her from? In what year did you see him? See her rather. You and Mr. Mbiru who came here first. Eh? Mr. Mbiru that came here first. Did you and go up for this? Ah. <laughs> Please. Did you go up for were you here in that year? Lying, Babas. I report you to Noor. Did you see her? Did you see her? Who else saw her? Cynthia. Cynthia, did you see her? During counseling. Overnight. And overnight prayers. But there is nothing good about her. Eh? Someone would admire. She had a baby. You'd pity that woman who was all over the place with a baby. <laughs> that is what you saw about her. God has power. God is mighty. That someday during the lockdown, when I went to visit her house. I believed God the more. She told me, she gave me the directions. And the one who came But God had provide for me, provided for me and I bought a pickup. You know the pickup I'm talking about. The town is. There's a man who was buying it for me. And I asked him, what do, you, what do you want to do to me? Please. Sell it to me. But there were no more cars. I bought it before the, the lockdown happened. And I could move wherever, to wherever I wanted with that. Time. <laughs> Going past seven miles, past mile seven, you would think that the world had just been God, we thank you for taking away COVID. <laughs> I, I, I drove my car and I went and saw that house. And I said, God surely lives in the I saw surprise. It's as if I had not prayed for the bricks that they used in the foundation of that house. But I just went to see how far she had gone. From that day, I continue not to joke around with the grace that is this You who wants to become poor, go ahead and become poor. And even wrote, but I, the grace that is in this place, whether you don't have anything on you, and you don't have a job, you don't even have relatives, she was rejected. Praise the Lord. But Jesus said, come to me. I shall make something precious out of it. Whoever is here physically and those online, there's a God that I'm bringing before you. There's a God that I'm presenting before you. I pray. Maybe this, is, this should be your beginning here. Why? Because God is not a respectable person. God is not a respectable person. What he did for another person, he can do it for you. Mama, 
the mother to this boy is now a magistrate. She came as a magistrate, but she ascended a level. And what level? Chief magistrate. She's now a chief magistrate. Even the father chief magistrate is now a chief magistrate. What a miracle working God. Katondo wa finga wa biya magiro. I've never made any prayer in here and God never answered it. It's either if you haven't believed or if you're the one who has disconnected Some yourself. Some people believe for a season when they go out there they listen to words and they disconnect themselves. And everything stops at that. He prayed for me but nothing happened. But now Stella She held on to the anointing till today There is no day that Stella ever gets out of the country Without my knowledge She even leaves her car at mine there is no day that she ever travels without my knowledge. She knows that it's the anointing that has to go ahead of her. There's not a time that she has ever thought that she has graduated and she knows how everything is. You don't get to a time and you claim that it's the anointing that has to go ahead. God does something to you. So you cannot get used to anything. That is what holds you back as born again. You always pretend that you are good at everything. That you have been in salvation for a long time. Even when they declare fast you don't fast. When they tell you to pray you don't pray. Because you claim you are mature. When they tell you to sow you don't sow. My secret. I never get used to God. Even if it is so, seed, if we are so somebody, if I have somebody, yet I am your leader. Hello. If it is fasting, I go fast. If it is sowing, I sow before any other person sows. Do you understand? I would have graduated already. Now even at night I wake up and pray even if I'm the one who leads you in prayer. I would have delegated. But I know that the time has come I'm going on to another level that is international. Now you who think that you see me off you shall just be watching me on your screen just be flying from Korea to America to Amsterdam you'll be seeing other people now there you're doze while I'm still with you and you're like oh this man who never gets tired you let me wind up my things because planes are waiting for me you hear them clap but they cannot even utilize your presence I'm going to another level very soon amen this anointing that drives people to different places is already in this place if you don't utilize your time very well times you regret and you say we used to be with him here and don't see him there are people that you tell that I know him and people will say no you're just clinging on to the great but you're there you take away from me what you have to take away when I'm still around I shall always be here but it will be very hard for you to access me it will not be easy 
So Pastor, won't that be pride? Won't you have developed pride? No, it's not pride. Even Jesus got 12. He trained them, but he told them, don't allow anyone to get close to me apart from the children. And even the children would be back from the And he let so so them, Don't let them. Let the little children come to me. Because they, the, the kids, they the them. But they would refuse them to be close to Jesus. And the woman with the issue of blood went in stealthily and touched his garment without any of them seeing him. And she received her healing. Have you understood? Now when the anointing increases, even the enemies increase. That is why we get security. Now if pastor is of God, why do we have uh, soldiers in church? They come to to watch over me. God keeps watch over me and they also do the same. Do you think people love me that much? There are so many devilish deals that have ruined the people. The people that used to be with you. The things that have rendered powerless. And yet they invested in them. There are so many. Now, do you think those people love me? explain to the people why I have uh, these soldiers keep watch over me people don't want me to leave maybe those, those are the people but even most born again pastors hate me mm. they claim that I steal their sheep if you belong to some other church don't make me behave they claim that I steal their sheep I'm always here I just see you come here but your pastors are really on my case they claim that I steal sheep no way let the sheep come let me take the ticks off them the ones that were producing let them produce 10 liters of milk we want to keep your sheep there with when, the, when it's demon possessed yet I can cast away the demons let me pray for them the thing is, I don't even tell you to do your charges. Come and I pray for you and you go back when you're blessed. And you go back when you're blessed. There's someone who asked me a question in the morning. I don't know whether it's right. There's a woman they met and they told them, How come you, you didn't have children? There's a place they pray for and they said that I got my children from Nangabu I'm like why don't you go and testify so she was like I fear that place she's right do you think she's even lying when you tell your pastor that I pray I can make you that topic and tell you that why do you open God that and it is the reason why I'm going to have overnight again do you know why? That there, they fear coming. I want you to have the overnights again so that you come in like and people are dying. And I'll also restore the casting session. But not in this month. Please don't knock at my door. Pastor, did you were you taken up by sleep? You promised to no. sessions, not this month. Amen. Amen. Now, please let me have my guards. Don't let me Who says that is right? Pastor is proud. People contend from there when I'm crossing the road. This man keeps disturbing us. He makes us not move when he's crossing the road. Let me hold you back while I because there are people that I'm delivering. Hmm? 
Is my career good? Everyone here said today, I take my anointing. What is inside your stomach? What is inside your stomach? What disturbs you in your stomach? Don't you know it? All of you said today, today, I break free from the chains, the chains that bound me, that bind my family. I break them in the name of Jesus. The God who worked for Stella, you're not a respecter of men. Come and work for me as well. The God of Pastor Luwanga, come and work for me as well. The God that has worked for so much in this place, and you have delivered them, and you have helped them, and you have given them a new service. I pray that you come and work for Satan. me. Devil. I no longer need you at all. I don't want to see you at all. Not even my home. Not even at my place of You have done a lot. You have made me You have imposed disease on me. I am tired of you. In the name of Jesus. I break you to pieces. I chop you to pieces. I destroy you. Kutula <laughs> Menya 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 Menya
akwata bana bange kukuma ko muliro kusanyao kuzikiriza mulinyali ya Yesu kumenya amenya temile mujange ta bana bange temile mujange ta bana bange ta 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 bi wamira byonna bisheshame sikayo mulemo sikayo bugaga sikaye mirembe sikayo kula kulana sikaya magezi gange mulinyali ya Yesu ona kulwa lero nsomulolwa okuva mu mberembi mulinyali ya Yesu in the name of Jesus amen amen when you get anti when i say that when you get chikamungo gamanti when i say something you say that ngogamanti you say that i reverse you nkuze mabega in jesus name mulinyeri ya yesu okay amen you say i reverse you ngogamanti nkuze mabega in jesus name mulinyeri ya yesu ambabanja I reverse you in Jesus' name. No, speak it from the bottom of your heart. I'm a banja. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Joblessness. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Prayerlessness. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Forces from my clan. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Forces from my family. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Evil forces. I reverse you in Evil forces. I reverse you in witchcraft. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Witchcraft. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Prayerlessness. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Prayerlessness. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Retardation. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Retardation. I reverse you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, call me Rokufa. Say I cast them. Nkori miro kufa. I cast them. Nkori mira magombe. I cast the heads. Gama nkukori mi de. Say I have cast you. Sija kufa. I will not die. Bazade bange te bajja kufa. My parents will not die. Abana bange te bajja kufa. My children will not die. Sija kwa vuala. I shall not become poor. Sija kubera wo. But I shall live. Sija kuda mchalo. I shall not go back to the village. Sija kubera mchibuga. I shall stay in the city. Sija kuzimbe nyumba. I shall build a house. Sija gadga wala. I shall become rich. Sija kule motoka. I shall buy a car. Sija kutambula mawa. Ya kuriye birunji, ya kutambula, embera yangu, ya kuchuka, muri nyari ya Yesu, ya kuangula, ya kuangula, ya kuangula, ya kuangula, muri nyari ya Yesu. Amen. Amen. Bako go chukira. Turn to someone. Mugambi, your life. And tell them of Lamu. You'll never be the same again. Can we damn go to church, Munate? Turn to someone. Say your life. Back up what you could have gamble. Your life. Will never be the same again. You will change. You will not die. You will live. Today declare. You will die. You will live. 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 You will live. You will die. You will live. You will die. You will live. You will live. You will die. You will live. You will live. You will die. You will live. You will live. You will die. You will live. You will live. You will die. Tell them you shall not live. You shall not live. You shall just go. You shall not live. You shall eat the good. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 No one no is and then you would enchant believing that the witches would uh, rather the spirits would perfect whatever you do no, I want to all my possessions that are in the east that are in the west into the north and from the south look for me follow me Many follow me. Many follow me. Joy follow me. Peace follow me. Protection follow me. Favor follow me. Mercy follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. I want you to say all my enemies fall down. Fall before me. Fall before me. I'm rising now. I'm rising now. I'm rising beyond my enemies.
enemies arising beyond my enemies say I scatter my enemies I scatter my enemies now clap your hands and scatter them Lord I scatter all my enemies the enemies of my family the enemies of my job the enemies of my peace the enemies of my happiness I scatter them I scatter them I scatter them I scatter them in the name of Jesus I scatter I scatter I scatter I scatter I scatter I scatter in Jesus name hallelujah amen say my possession that was sent to the grave and whatever they were to the grave and pull you out pull you out in the name of Jesus hear me many times when I'm praying for people my boss the Holy Spirit is so smart he reveals to me amen one day not once when I'm praying for people in a vision there are times visions that I get but one day I saw a graveyard opening a grave opening and someone was coming through but I knew the person was coming out of the grave they were among the people that I was praying for then I backed at the demons that had kept them in the graveyard but when I regained my senses I was like what is this this is what I understood someone can bind your blessing and they want you to be forgotten they take witchcraft on a graveyard and speak that just like this person died and was forgotten let that business also be forgotten and let them also be forgotten and me, but there is no one who loves you no one knows you whether it is joy or death no one is even mindful of you but every time you come in the name of the Lord and you break those ropes from the and you say that I come out today in the name of Jesus you start walking on the streets of Kampala again say in the name of Jesus every rope that tied me to that whatever kept tied me that I break whatever button. I break the ropes I come out 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 in the name of Jesus from today I scatter whatever was after me whatever was disturbing me I scatter it I set it on fire 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 whatever disturbs our plan 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 whatever disturbs our plan
So from today henceforth, I declare upon my soul, I'll never be a I'm going to be ahead. I'm going to be above on so si si. and not beneath. I'm going to prosper. I'm going to possess nothing. I shall travel in days. I shall sleep in big hotels. Five stars, seven stars. Five stars, seven stars. I shall sleep in all in the name of Jesus. The bottle of 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 the devil of Jesus. Amen. Now this is the last thing. Every time the devil sees you come into the house of God to get something. He tries to touch your, your properties as well. You might be coming to church. And there's still something of yours. Amen. Amen. From your border border. From your car. That where the devil is trying to make you get fed up of the place. Because he's seeing that you're taking him to the fire. Every time the devil sees that his dominion is perishing, he makes sure that he attacks you. Now, saying the name of Jesus, whatever was attacked, I attack you. And you that evil spirit that comes upon you, I destroy you, I break you, I crush you, I put you under my feet in the name of Jesus. Die from the root in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Say principalities. I put you down. Leave my parcel. Leave my parcel. Leave my parcel. Leave my parcel. Leave my peace. Leave my joy. Leave my job. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Allow me to pray for this. For our brothers and sisters who are abroad, those who don't have jobs. I pray for the people who are jobless. Those who are abroad in the UAE, all over the world, who are watching me right now. I pray that my God will give you jobs. I pray that He will lift you and delight you in this period of fasting. I pray for your blessing. May some of you come Saturday. May some of you get a tomorrow. And may some get and to Tuesday. Until Tuesday, I have released the people who we'll bring in jobs. Let them walk to get to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Get a hold of your offering. If you have a dollar seed, a seed for land, please come to the front. There's someone who has pain in their ribs. You examined, and your ribs don't have any fractures. But you still have pain. Please hurry up and come here because I don't have time. If you're the one, you don't have any fractures. You're not fractured at all. But you went and you examined. I request If you have proof from the doctors, I don't want you to say that I have pain here. No. And so particular, please. If you don't have any reports from the doctors after the examination, please don't come. Do you have any reports from that? So, how did you confirm? Did you go to hospital? Did you go to hospital? Yes, I went to hospital. Which hospital? Which hospital? And what did they say? 
right now. I'm feeling pain. I have pain in my ribs. Mm. My ribs are not fractured. Stand there, I'll pray for you. There's someone you're tired of dreaming of your late auntie. You dream of her giving you so many Please programs. put up your hand and come here. Don't waste our time, please. We are, this is a time for us to break our fast. I'm giving you two more minutes. If you want, Come and I pray for you. I'm going to arrest that, that, that spirit which comes in the dream. And it will be no more. I think you still need it. Who say that the dead speak to the people who are living? Or oh, you think it's a blessing? I think you call it a blessing. Let me just leave you a bit. I'd like to pray with a lady. You're tired of, of, of the people who challenge you that you don't have a child. I've never prayed for you. But you want to have a child. I've also given you two minutes. If you, mm -hmm. you're still thinking about it, it shall be upon you. Are you coming? You are coming here? Okay, young Amoko Speed. Please walk faster than that. There is someone, one of us, you get dreams of monkeys attacking you and you shout in the dream please can you come in front for prayers there's I'm giving you two minutes just help yourself and come. If you don't come, I also don't know you. What I've seen is what I speak. Amen. This side, from this point, this side. There's a woman who was walking and they jumped over witchcraft. Hmm. But her life is not okay at all. I want us to give the spirit of God two minutes. Or less than that. If you are a woman and you're not a man, I request that you, you rest your hands upon your chest and call upon the name of Jesus. You are a woman. Concentrate and call upon the name of Jesus. This day might be your day. Holy Spirit, we were given a name. Only one name. For our salvation. Now your people are calling upon your name, Lord. Because they are in danger. I pray that you meet them now. Meet those who are in danger. Set them free now. 
Father, as a matter of fact, I don't know. Chitange simanyi na kumanya. Ani. Who exactly it is? Simanya ani. I don't know who it is. Nini saba? That I pray. Ukwate kuoyo. That you will touch it. Ya buke dagalanga tategedi. Who jumped over witchcraft without any knowledge? And strip it off them. Umusumuruli. Deliver them. May that life be delivered. And whatever they had sent to them. I pray that you shall get away. And let it go so that this will be Now in the name of Jesus. The witchcraft that you jumped over. I render it powerless. I render it powerless. I render it powerless. And those demons. That were upon your lives. I command them to loose Kati. right now. I'm giving you two more minutes, devil. Standing to pack up you. your things and go. Leave God's children. This is the house of God. You have no right. You have no right. Vayo. Get out. Vayo. Get out. Vayo. Get out. The demon that entered through the That demon that entered through the field. I command in the name of Jesus. Let them come out. Let them catch fire. Let them be consumed. Whatever came through and you ended up in the field. I command you to get out. I command you to catch fire. I command you to be consumed. In the name of Jesus. Now get out. Let go of those. Let go of those. Leave in the name of Jesus. I release the fire. Let it permeate from the head to the soles of the feet. In the name of Jesus. It is done. She will thank you, Lord. Where will you come? Madam, come. can think that you eat all the food in the world. I'm not going to pray for you ten children though. Three or four are enough. I open your womb in the name of Jesus. Go and have your opportunity. I open your womb with you. Wait. In the name of Jesus. I command whatever bound your womb to let go. And I command children to be born. You have it. Lord, I pray for this lady. Let whatever she was seeing as big become small. Lord, I pray that you will heal her of the pain that she had in her hands. If it is water, let the, the, the angels operate on her. Whatever is operation. I pray for a divine operation to take place. In Jesus' name. Amen. Check, check, check your life after eight days. No. After eight days, keep checking yourself. Unless if you have a special seed. I think none of you has any pledges. If you don't have any pledges, I request that you stand up on your feet. I thought. Go on, moon to. See. Dollar seed. Oh, land. Okay. Come on, go on, moon to. May God bless you. Zimba. Come on, go on, moon to. May God bless you. How come you no longer pray for us? Videos for building.
your seat. Let's put it in the building. Father, bless my sister. In Jesus' name. Hello, Junior. Thank you so much. God bless you. May the Lord heal you. In Jesus' name. a half caste who has been a thorn in your life I have removed that person from your life you will never see that person again in Jesus name may God bless you I pray to God that your presence that God shall expand your presence in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh. Just like I spoke, the God that I worship, may He give you three angels to go and do a work. The same way you want it. Exactly the way you want it is how you do it. Whatever you're speaking right now, may they perform it exactly that way in the name of Jesus. Whose child is this? Let's be fast, please. Went to go to Saudi Arabia. What do you want? From Which grandparent of yours is there? Kali, what have you seen? To go on and look into the rule. If that's the generation of people, count ten days. If they don't call you, don't.
Do come back. What then are you on? You will come back with him here. Bas. Ajja ajja kudda. Whatever it is, I pray that my God will reign. Just go. Took away two days. Okay, I sent the angel of the Lord. Do it for me. For you. Quickly. Within 24 hours. I need a report. In Jesus' name. Amen. Zoe, they have brought you chicken. If you're not around, let your daughters keep it. Mama Mulunji, one and a half liters of milk for Mama Mulunji. Aunt Jennifer, one liter of milk for Aunt Jennifer. I pray that your prayers will ascend before the Lord for remembrance in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The line is growing longer and longer. Now go. You'll make it through like your friends. I command the angel of the Lord to healing prayer. But Jim cancer you to take away every cancer. I speak healing in the name of Jesus. May it happen and may it start happening immediately. Amen. Lord, I pray for your son that you bless me. Come through for him and expand him. Go and expand in land. All is well. Yes, Katonda. I pray that God will do you good. We'll give you another plot of land in Buganda. You had the haters. Father, I send the angel of God to bring back that brother Mchunguzi where he is. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. May God bless you. What is the money for? Delay stagnation. From where, what is your name? I bind the spirit of stagnation. I bind the spirit of delay. I bind the spirit of retardation. In the name of Jesus. I deliver this lady this evening. Because of the covenant upon my life. Let her see a new day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When the eight days that I declared were coming to end, she, she got money and she has brought some to the house of the Lord so it can be used to Pardon me, this but it is because of joy. God gave this lady twins. But I pray that your joy shall be perfected. This is the reason why we come to church. While other people are out there looking for twins and doing every other thing. And she has not to know that God really is not to be able to do this. Go and give back to the sex that you want. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Why do you stay? Okay. It's already done. Do you know what you're talking about? How you would have come in the you get every you Wednesday you get a Wednesday prayer I'll keep laying my hands upon you to to give you that give that we start praying for the children when they are still inside this their mother's what? womb Thanksgiving for what? For your life and hmm? what? Job. You want to go to change your job? Your whole life. One job. No promotion. That is stagnation. I break the spirit of stagnation in the name of Jesus. Now, let me anoint you, my dear sister. Today, I take, I stand in the authority which was given to me by the Almighty God to change your job to a better job in the name of Jesus Christ. You will come back here and testify. God has done it. got a job recently. Uh-huh. Stretch out your palms. Father, I pray that you give her favor and give her ability in her job. My sister, I bless you. Go under this blessing and perform well in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> 
Mkwamba za mafuta I clothe you with an Mkwamba za omuliro I clothe you with an Uonyeze wa Receive your healing Genda katonda kusitu Go may the Lord Deyatani kwa mlimu omuru He who started a good work Agenda guko mia wakati Shall not leave it Agenda guma liriza He shall accomplish it Tola bangaba andu don't be Katonda wa yogera no kola kola Don't perceive like Katonda men Katonda fetali imba And our God speaks he performs Katonda a device from heaven Katonda fetali imba 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 May he accomplish your issue Katonda fetali imba In the name of Jesus Be blessed Katonda fetali imba Katonda fetali imba Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you go in the house of this brother and destroy the works of the devil. Again, I lift his wife up before you. I pray that you heal her, deliver her, give her peace. You who started a good work, come and finish it. Under the anointing upon my life, I destroy the yoke in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed. Stand up on your feet. I'm going to pray for money. I'm going to pray for money. But the money I'm going to pray for before mid, sorry, before mid day, I'm going to pray to Saturday. God to bring money that is my prayer this evening I want God to give you Sente. money before mid day of Saturday Gazachi. and what is that money for? The weekend. it's for you to enjoy your weekend some of you don't even mind about the weekend go back to the weekend who says I want to eat well on Saturday and Sunday you've been fasting and tomorrow is Sunday for me to eat even Sunday so I don't want you to eat portion Amen. Amen. And I can resent that that God can bring a deal that you knew that. And it gives you money before me the tomorrow. If you believe in my God, then raise your hand. Say, Oh Lord. I your servant. I pray today. I pray for my before me the tomorrow. Before me the tomorrow. Give me money so that I can enjoy it in the name of Jesus. I am free from whatever binds me. In the spirits of diversion, I break loose from them in the blood of Jesus. I pray that the finger of the Lord will make me rich in the shortest time possible. Money come in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, please give me money for only you. And also money to settle my debt. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord. In Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you Lord. Again, I'll come after you. Bring the anointing on you. I feel it upon my heart. That every time will come in here. Even if you have anointing oil at home. I want you to go with your head anointed. This is a sign. To the devil. I want the devil to know. That you are marked for success. I want that the bad dreams to give you to us. I want oil at the different holds. 
forth. Everyone who gets out, I want you to get out because of the thing upon my life. Because of the grace upon my life. If I ask him in the offering, you'll find anointing. Now you'll not say, let pastor come and anoint you. I shall not anoint you. I've only anointed a few. Amen. Amen. Now I'll come and turn over you. Now first give let the people who are going to anoint others come anoint them, even the person on the key so, we'll we'll the the key. so that we can see what next hallelujah Amen. pastor come and I anoint you so that you can anoint others 